Uh, Walt. What did I say? Walter. Walter? Wait. Oh, wait. If you push U and W, it makes them both Walter. Not water. Should I turn subtitles on? Yes. Well, my game is bugged. It's changing on screen. <laughs> it's changing on screen, but not for me. I gotta restart. <laughs> the, the price we pay, chat. There's gonna be a little bit of this. I'm sorry. With my brief testing with this, just to make sure it ran, it was... It was... It froze a couple times. So we'll just see. Subtitles are mandatory. Okay. We're sorry. Facade is having trouble running. Possibly... Shut up. I tested this earlier, dude. It'll run. You can't... Here's the thing. You can't touch the window. You can't touch the window when it's loading. <laughs> because it freezes the game. The, love the podcast with Sam. Yeah, dude. You go check out General Sam's podcast. I was on it. I've talked about it a couple times now, but you haven't seen it go check it out it was fun soon charbo stare stop it i'm going to have a nightmare thank you watu i vote joe because there's a bug that makes it pronounce as andrew uh hey it's trip uh, <laughs> hey, it's been a while, uh, but, uh, Grace and I thought it'd be, uh, great if you came over tonight. Uh, really, it'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I why would, is it uh, so uh, awkward? That, that'd be, uh, uh, that'd be really nice. So, um, see you then, I guess. Great. Dude, it's so awkward. I'm gonna start talking to people like this, IRL. It sounds like American Wobo. <laughs> it does sort of sound like American Wobo. <laughs> what the fuck? Who was that? Incognito, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Chat demands Sergio. Okay. Uh, you guys want Walter or Sergio? Is it Sergio or Sergio? Well, Sergio's not an option. I'm pushing every button at my disposal. Wait, numbers? No. We're going, Walter. I'm sorry, Sergio's not on there. Subtitles on. And let's do this. Hey, uh... Chip, when are you going to get rid of this? What, Grace, this? Yes, you know how I feel about I know, it. I know. I'll do it right now, all right? You know, I've had to ask you about this several... I'll get rid of it in just a minute. <laughs> God. The... It's going to be so awkward. Chat, I'm going to go into this room, and it's going to be so awkward. Walter! Oh, my God. Hey, I thought I heard someone out here. Hey. Great to see you. It's been a while. How's it's it been quite a minute. How long has it been? Uh, let me type something here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow, it's really, really great to see you. Come you on You too. In. God, oh, look at that uh, chunky booty. Let me go get Grace. Grace, look at that chunky butt. Can I come in? I'm a vampire. I just gotta make it. Yo. Hello. Okay, now Walter. when he gets back, so oh. hi, how so are you? Oh, bed. God, it's been such a long later. time. Yeah, it's been too long. I'm not going in. I want to see what way, happens. You look wonderful. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Happy smile Make sound. Yourself at home. Come on in. Okay. Let me come in. All right. Walter, Coming in. You again makes me. 
Oh, I'll get no, it. No, no, we have a guest. We can let the answering machine pick it up. Can I come in? What? Wait, wait, let's just wait for the answer. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you've reached the fabulous home of Grace and Trip. Leave us a message. Uh. Grace, this is your oh, father. Oh, Trip, 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 please, I don't want to talk to them right now. Doing... I want to say hello. No, no, Trip, we're right, entertaining a friend in our new apartment. Can I come in? Mother and I are throwing a party for <laughs> a senior well, VP at the firm, no, and, and you I'll should be there. I'll call my parents later. Well, and, and be Grace's sure parents. Really, there's I something talk else. This it's really classic. Oh, no, I can't, there's too much talking. I can't understand what's going on. There's so much talking. Goodbye. Oh, Walter, take a look at this photo I just put up from our... Walter? <laughs> uh, what? What? <laughs> 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 You know what? I think you should leave. We'll be fine. You should just go. Oh, we've got to restart. There's no quick restart chat. You have to exit every time. Who was that? Gosh dang hecker. Thank you for the resub and thank you incognito for the bits. And total attack for the resub. Thank you guys. Much appreciated. All right, launching. <laughs> he didn't care until you kissed him. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Did you install this on your SSD? I've got I've got M.2 drives in this thing. It's not a problem with my machine. I'm pretty sure. I think it's just a very old game. Uh, hey, it's Trip. Hey, Trip. Uh, I, I guess it's been quite some time since we last saw you. Uh, but uh. All right, I'm skipping that. All right, we're gonna be Walter again. I'm not. I'm not mixing it up. We're gonna do the tried and true. Wait, how do I? Okay, here we go. I like being Walter. Walter really speaks to me. Walter the weirdo. You hate Walter? Chip, when are you going to get rid of this? What, Grace, this? Yes, you know how I feel. I know, I know. I'll Wait, oh. Now, all right? you know, Subtitles aren't on. Hello? Please call Trip American Warbo and see what happens. Okay, I'll do it. I don't think anything. He's going to go. Here's what's going to happen, chat. He's going to go. Walter! <laughs> uh, hey, it's been too long, man. How are you doing? You look great. You sound like American Wobo. Uh, well, <laughs> I told you. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll go get Grace. Grace? No, no, here we <laughs> are. <laughs> Walter. Hi, how are you? God, it's been a while. It's been a long yeah, time. How, how are you doing? I just I'm so good. That. Oh. <laughs> and I have to say, you look... How are you? Good, good. We're very good. How are you? Well, come on in. Make yourself... I'm, I'm already here. I'm just going to go close. Can I use your bathroom? Um... Oh, Walter, take a look at this photo I just put up from our trip to Italy a couple of weeks ago. What's up, Wobo? Thank you for the raid. Walter, come here. I want you to look at this. I would rather hug your wife. Oh, uh, you're hugging me. Comfort. Oh, that's... Oh, that's nice, Grace. I think a <laughs> hug was just what you needed. Hug her. I hug her. <clears throat> Walter, 
<laughs> I hug her. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, well, well, no, it was just a weekend getaway. Huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well tonight. Hug. Oh, Walter. What have I been waiting <laughs> for? Let me hug. Are you okay? Jesus. Look, I'm gonna leave you two alone to what? keep crazy. Where are each you other. going? No, no, no. <laughs> Come back, wait. Hug. Hug. Um, Trip, if if it's not too much trouble, could you could you turn on the mini biscotti oven for me? Just just set it to Bella Tosta. She's so uncomfortable. Could you do that for me? Comfort. Comfort her. Oh, that's nice of you. She's like a Pokemon. Yes, I'm giving her a little. This is all just. Comfort. It's not like this kind of thing happens. <laughs> yeah. Comfort. It's not like we're pretending everything's fine. True. Comfort. Comfort. Grace. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> Walter, I yes. There isn't how. Trip could come back at any second. Can I use your bathroom? Walter. I really have to dookie. I don't know what to think. I really I've have to go. For a long time. What was that? What? Da. God, it's also touchy feely in here. <laughs> Why is he holding a magic eight ball? Anyway, our Norwegian cheese slicer is in the dishwasher, and I didn't feel like hand-washing it, so... Is that a magic eight ball? Hmm. Walter, <laughs> you and I are getting along so well tonight. True. Stay there for a moment. I want your opinion. Stay there. Okay. I'll stay right here. Ugh, I am getting so tired of looking at this god-awful work table. Maybe if I replaced it with, um... Do you... do you remember, Grace? <laughs> what? How I proposed to you. Oh Here. God, Trip. Walter, I'll show you. It was at Grace's parents' house. Christmas. Why would you? Of college. I got on one knee in front of Trip, everybody. Trip, what are you doing? I pulled out a diamond ring and I Stop said, "Stop it, Trip." Grace, will you marry me? <laughs> Trip. Is, is that romantic or this what? This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are so weird. Thank you. <laughs> what? I see, Trip. Not everyone thinks being proposed to like that is so romantic. I don't know where you get your ideas, Walter. Mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> uh, oh, that was. Uh... <laughs> 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 you maniac. You sex maniac. You're never afraid to uh, just on the spot. Uh, <laughs> You're crazy. Uh, that. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I use your bathroom? I'm not. At some point tonight, you should ask hey. Trip about watermelon. I'm going to bed. Before ha, we ha, forget, ha, ha, ha. Um, you maniac. You oh, we maniac. need to make sure when we look at. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Incognito. Right. Yeah. The dust ball thingy. Wobo told me about this. We need to remember to return. Oh, that. right. I made right. them so uncomfortable. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, ever since we got married, I can't help it. I'm forever buying new furniture and redecorating. I, I really enjoy it. Why is she so suspicious? Yeah. Decorating is great. Ah, right. Right. Walter, of course you like it. See, Grace? You have no reason to complain. There's just nothing to complain about. So I normally like redecorating. Walter, now be honest with me. Walter. I agree that this room <laughs> just does not work. Grace, come on. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, the room... 
This room looks so bad. No, 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 no. You've got to understand, Grace loves expensive furniture. She was totally spoiled growing up. You should see the inside of her parents' house. Let's see the so inside. I just had no. to have this Never. style, but no. I'm wrong. It is just not coming together at all. Oh, come on. Jesus, why can't you just be happy with this? This is fine. Why did you paint? Why'd you paint the walls black? Yeah, I just had to have these paintings. Not the paintings, but the walls. No, I'm wrong. These look why completely you know amateurish and gauche. Oh, they look so God. bad. They look so bad. <sighs> Thank you. I knew you'd give me an honest... <laughs> oh. I misread the situation. You know Walter, that's it. No, 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 no. There's only so much you can expect. No, 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 no. We'll be fine. You just have to go. Okay, I've got to get, I've got to get better at the art of seduction. That's what that's what my problem is. Who was that? Tim, thank you for the resub, dude, and thank you, Prowler, for the hundred bits. Thank you guys. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong. If you type a letter and then use the arrow key, you can scroll for more names. Oh. Rash your skull. Thank you for the first time, Prime, dude. Say my catchphrase. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't have a catchphrase. I don't even have a catchphrase. All right, here's, I'm taking a different approach this time, by the way. Yeah, I'll remember subtitles this time. What's my favorite pizza? Uh, I like to go out and scoop up a fresh little mound of dirt and put it on top of some pizza. Mm. 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 Delectable. Now that's a pie. Now that's a pizza pie. Mm. It's vegan. <laughs> Use question marks for questions. Okay, I'll try to remember that. What have I become? Dude, what's up, Duke Cateron? Thank you for the two years. Much appreciated. A after uh, after two more years, you get a uh, car. So look forward to that. Why is it taking so long this time to load? Come on! Come on! Ask about the baby. There's a baby? Say melon as soon as he answers. Okay, I want to restart. I'll try one more time. Yeah, that's my only complaint so far is just the game takes so long to restart. Yeah, they don't want me to come back. They're tired of me. They permanently kicked me out. Imagine this game with the AI dungeon text. Dude, we should do that later. We should do that after this. You guys want to do that? That'd be fun. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What is this American Wobo shit? They're saying that sounds like you. 
that phone call at the start. All right. Um. Oh, Will, Warren, Walter, Tom, Tim. Oh, here we go. Ryan, Robin, Rich. I want to see if they have Charles. That would be close to my name. Wait, what did that say? Liz, Ka? Kevin, Kelly, Keith, Kate, Julie, Josh, John, Joe, Joe, Jim, Jill, Jess, Jasper, Jen, Jeff, Janet, Jane, Ian, Hector, Greg, Gonzalez, Chris, Chloe. Oh, they don't have Charles? Are you kidding me? Is there any names that start with Z? Wait, AI? AI? I know. <laughs> Will, Warren, Walter. I like Walter still. I'm gonna go subtitles on and let's do this shit. I'm gonna try to last as long as I can this time inside this home. No kissing, no hugging. Wine glasses? What for? That should be obvious. Oh god, Trip, don't turn this into a big Oh god, they hate each other. Jesus Christ, come on, I'm not asking a lot here. But what? Trip, don't give me that look. Yo! You're going to drive me crazy. Ah! Walter, ah! Hey, <laughs> I thought I heard someone out here. Great to see you. It's been a while. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Wow, it's really, really great to see you. Yeah. Oh, come on in. Y yeah. Come in. Uh, yeah. I'll uh, I'll go get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just just stay here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Here we are. Oh. Walter. Hi. How are you? God, it's been a while. Yeah. How, how... Oh. <laughs> By the way, you look wonderful. Make yourself at home. Come on in. You look great. Um. What? <laughs> hey, hey, Walter. Seeing you brings back good memories. You know? Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've we've uh, we've missed you. Hey, I just realized something. Yeah. Yeah, tonight is special. Walter, <laughs> it was almost exactly 10 years ago tonight that you introduced us. Get, out, year the, of get out of the way. Oh, jeez. Remember that? Yeah. We really want to thank you for years and years of... Pain? <laughs> Agony? Love. Hug. Oh, hey, you're hugging me. Why is, this, why is he not talking? Why did he just do that? I heard that it's your birthday. Well, we're all friends here. Why did he just hug oh. him? Walter, I thought you might like this photo I just put up from our recent trip to Italy. Meme catalog, thank you for the dollar, dude. It's not my birthday. Might like it. It's a beautiful picture of the Italian countryside. Of course he'll like Walter, it. Walter, come take a look at this. Yes. By the way, anybody, join me on the couch if you like. Um, now... Yeah. Walter. Wait, I just got an invite. I'm I just sorry. see trip. I knew I should never have let you put up that picture. I just got a fucking invite. Wrong. Sorry. No, Fuck the pic. <clears throat> well, he just stops talking. I'll take the picture down later tonight before I go to bed. Oh shit, she hates him, dude. <laughs> Look at him over there. <laughs> Walter, you're not enjoying this, are you? What? I am. What? Grace, come on, that kind of statement is not helpful. Trip, there's nothing wrong with disagreeing, disagreeing in front we're of our disagreeing. friend. We're not disagreeing, we're not. <sighs> okay, well, I, I was worried there for a bit that you were on Trip's side tonight. No way. <laughs> you know, ever since we got married, I can't help. <sighs> right, right. Walter, of course you like it. See, Grace? You have no, no I hate it. There's just nothing. No, 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 no. I hate it. understand. Grace loves expensive furniture. She was totally spoiled growing up. You should see the inside of her parents' house. So I normally like redecorating. Walter. Sit down. Why are you just standing there watching? I agree that this room, it just does not work. This room is ugly. What are you talking 
All right, but this room is a problem, isn't it? Yes. All... Oh, well. So, I just had to have this couch, but I'm wrong. I should have chosen a modest, simple love seat. What's her oh, name? Come on. A little love seat? Jesus, why can't you just be happy with this? This is fine. Where is your TV? I'm sure I can return most. I hate of the, the way they start over again on this room. Sit with me, Grace. Grace, everything's fine. No one is complaining about your decorating. No, he is just being courteous. This room is not. Ugh, Grace, come on. People like you know, Trip, you're the you only one. You convinced me to go into advertising. I could Stop have fighting on the wall instead of buying it. You never. <laughs> um, wait. You think I'm angry? You are angry. Oh, you're, you're really joking around tonight, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Landon, Never for the four months. Say anything that pops into your mind. And Ladouche no for the six months. Thank you, guys. You. Yeah. Anyway. I love your decorating, Grace. Oh, my God. Walter. Oh, my God. I am so bad. What? I haven't gotten us drinks. Oh, this is good because I just bought these classic Go fetch them. shakers I need us to try out. <laughs> Beta. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I want to make you one of my drink inventions. It's a secret. Trip doesn't even like the taste of alcohol. What? Trip so, is so what? dumb. <laughs> what? Trip, trip. It's all right. Our friend is just giving you a bit of a hard time tonight. You're a man. You can take it. She, she's into me, dude. We need drinks. So, can I make you one of my drink inventions? Fetch me a drink. You you don't want my invention? Well, I do. Chip's getting a little carried away. Maybe you just want some juice or. I want it! Water. I want it! Yeah, no, I'm gonna make this drink for us. Our friend is here. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. That's all there is to it. Grace, I want a drink. Everybody loves my drinks. You know that, don't you? Everybody. Well, of course, Trip. After all, you got enough practice when you were a real bartender. What? What? In college, you were a bartender. How do you know about that? Oh, I know you were trying <laughs> to keep it a big secret, but one time my friends and I went slow. This game is weird, dude. This is scary. Bar in the sticks, and we saw you there. Oh, that's great. Ah, this is bullshit. Uh, no, you're full of shit. They're it's like a bartender that. secret. I wish you would just be yourself. Ever since I've known you, you resist just being yourself. Little impatient well, sigh. Can you believe this? And you, I can predict what you'll say. The way you keep trying to explain everything. Me? Why don't you guys look at me? You're goddamn decorating. You're never satisfied with anything. Oh, You're never God. happy. Never, ever satisfied with anything. Uh, man, these guys are... All right. You know what? Walter, I need to ask you something. Why did she Grace, say my name so centrally? Let me ask our guest a question. What is it, Grace? Walter? Yes or no? <laughs> In a marriage, shouldn't you try to help the other person get what they want? Yes. What? What? Oh, okay. Sure. Ugh, I try so hard to reach out to you, Grace, oh, and you reject me. Believe. You're cold, you're distant, I can't keep going this way. It's killing me. Ugh. Yeah, good. Get out of my sight. Come here. I don't want to look at you. God damn it. Hug her, hug her, I hug her. Comfort no, her. don't, please. I comfort her. What? Are you talking about I'm me? I'm not No, Trip, shut up! I comfort her. Walter. I'm sorry. This is a disaster. It's okay, Grace. Walter, from oh. what you said before about saying yes, I think we've already learned something about Grace. Oh, so we're talking about me, are we? What? Grace, even though now you're a creative director at work, and even though you redecorate the apartment all the time, the truth is, you're not an artist. Shut up, uh -huh. bartender. Okay. Walter. <laughs> You know what? I think you should leave. No! No! So much you can expect no! You know, we'll be fine. You just have to that go. That was too much. That was too much. 
<laughs> I really struck a nerve. I struck too much of a nerve. <laughs> okay, we'll restart. <laughs> I worked so hard. Thank you, Cage Rugged, for the resub, dude. Thank you. <laughs> what should my goal be? I should try to woo her. I could do it, too. I could really do it. I have such a way with words. Hush up, bartender. The only thing getting mixed up tonight is me and your wife. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Grace's side? Yeah, I'm going to keep trying to side with Grace. I'm going to try my hardest. All you say is yeah. <laughs> Trying to get them to help you. Yeah, I'll show up and be like, oh, work is the worst. Been trying to find Kentucky Goes to Court on YouTube and I can't find it. Um... I don't know if that's up on there. It might be. Yeah, I, I know the AI is simple. I need to be more simple with it. Chicken foot. If I recall correctly, you can pick up various items from shelves and throw them. I'll try that. Thank you for the dollar, dude. Call Trip a simp? I don't even think that word existed back then. In 2005. The year of our lord. Is there a name option for kin? That's RP is kin. There might be. You can shake the 8-ball. Oh! What if I what if I let the eight ball do all my decisions for me, chat? What if I let the eight ball guide me? Eight ball playthrough. The fate of their relationship relies on an eight ball. Steal his eight ball. I gotta figure out how to take it. Yeah, well maybe I can just rush into the apartment and take it. Wait, what did Bimby say? Attempt to make this game with modern AI? Yeah, that would be cool. I think I gotta restart again. Man, that, that it is so hard to get this damn game to launch. How would it work, though? It's not exactly a yes or no game. Well, we'll see what happens. I got pretty far just saying yeah earlier. They start arguing so fast. Yeah, dude. I, man, I hope, I hope I never hate somebody as much as, uh, as these guys hate each other. It seems so tiring. Every single thing starts an argument. That's how Wobo and I are going to be after another year. Listen, okay, Wobo, this is what, this is what you sound like. This is American you. Listen. It's Trip. Uh, wow. It's been a long time. Uh, but, uh, Grace and I thought it'd be, uh, great if you came over tonight. <laughs> That's what uh, you sound like. Really, it'd be great. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going, I'm coming over. All right, come on. Let me start it. Let me start it. How do you do it? Strength guys cruising for a boozing. Dude, I know. I wish you could beat up in this game. I wish you could beat someone up in this game. Walter, subtitles on. Thank you, Volkeg, for the 100 bits. Where are the new wine glasses? Oh, no. That should be obvious. Oh, God, Trip, don't turn this into Hello? a production. Hey, uh, Charborg. It's uh, it's Wobo. 
me and uh, Spot here were wondering if you wanted to uh, come over. If, uh, you, you, uh, you wanted to um, come over. It is so spot on, Wobble. That's exactly how Walter! you say what. Hey, I thought I heard someone out here. Oh, it's been so long since we've seen you. How you doing, man? Good. All right. Wow, it's so great to see you after so long. Well, come on in. Uh, it'll be just a sec while I go get. I'll rest. come with you. No, no, here we are. Walter. Hi, how are you? Oh God, it's been. Where's so that eight ball? Wait, where's the eight ball? Where's the eight ball? Yeah, oh. how how are you doing? Uh, I just asked him that. I can ask too. Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay, chat. This is a magic eight ball run. Wonderful. Make yourself at home. Come on in. Oh, ow, close. It's definite. Um. They really didn't like that. Oh. Walter, take a look at this photo I just put up from our trip to Italy a couple okay. weeks ago. Walter. Come over here and sit on the couch with me. No, hold on. Now. Sure thing. No, I just want one word. How about tiresome? Grace, please. Walter. Yes? Just one word for this. No, hold on. Now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. Walter. Okay, I'm right. What does this picture make you think of? Oh, Trip, don't put our friend on the spot like that. In a word, what does this say to you? Oh, God. Walter, <laughs> come over here. Make yourself comfortable. Who knows? Well, actually, this trip to Italy was meant to be our second honeymoon. Trip, don't exaggerate. <laughs> it was simply a weekend getaway. <laughs> so, in a word, this says... <laughs> Romance! It says romance! Well, I'm not gonna bore you with the details about our romantic weekend, you can imagine. Well, we're all friends here. So, Walter, you can help me understand where I went wrong with my new decorating. <laughs> Grace, oh no. We Why don't not? Need to do that. Well, it's funny how after Dude, it wants me to go with her! ...magazine ads, Grace finds the time to decorate. And redecorate. <laughs> I guess it's just the artist in me dying to get out. So everybody loves the view. But a view of trees would be so much more healthy. I'm dying to see some green. Oh, Grace. Never? See, Grace? As always, you're the only one unhappy with your decorating. Right, I know. I'll never be satisfied. It's still it. going with her, so dude! About it. It's just not worth it. Ugh. Where's my drink? I'm trying to make her horny. Or not horny. I read. <laughs> no, no, I read the chat. This eight ball is horny is what someone said. I'm trying to make her happy. Maybe you didn't come here to hear this. What? No, 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 no. That's not. That's Trip, chat. I read the chat. We disagree in front of our friend. We're not disagreeing. Perhaps soon. What? You know what? It's about time. I fix us some drinks. I knew that was coming. When it comes to drinking, I, I generally avoid temptation. Sure thing. Yeah, uh, uh, we need drinks. This is great. For us, I'm gonna open an amazing, uh, I mean, exquisite. Chat, no, it was literally, I read the chat. I can't buy this in I read what they said in chat, and it fucking, no, that's so, that's so not what I meant. take that as a compliment. Walter, what do you say? I doubt it. Oops. Oh my god, I accidentally opened. Oh, come on, let's enjoy ourselves tonight. This wine will be so good. So good. Walter, I doubt it. <laughs> maybe you'd just like a simple glass of white wine. Yeah, no, we need to open this wine. Our friend is here. We're going to enjoy ourselves. Sure thing. That's all there is to it. I've been dying to try this Bordeaux for a long time. This is the That's perfect not opportunity. That's anniversary wine, is it? Uh-oh. That's not the Bordeaux we saved from our wedding that we were going to drink on our 10th uh -oh. wedding anniversary, right? Whoops. <laughs> ah, this is bullshit. Uh, no, you're full of shit. Our anniversary wine. Sometimes I feel like our whole marriage is just for show. I don't know what you really feel. Walter. Oh, I... no. Don't. And you. I can predict what you'll say. You've been critical of me all evening. 
sure thing. Italy. I try to yeah. reach out to you. I. What? What? What are you saying to me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what, Walter? I'm going to ask you something. Walter. Grace, Trip, let me ask our guest a question. Walter? Yes or no? Do you think it's wrong for one person in a marriage to listen too much to the other? Could be. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Fine. God damn it. How can I be happy when you oh, act this God. way, Trip? huh? I'm miserable. No, Get don't go through the wall. wall. Get out of my face. I can't even freaking look at you. God damn it, Grace. Oh. No. What? What are you saying to me? What? Are you no. talking to What's me? What's it to you? Walter, this has never ever happened before. Never. Walter? Trip is just so... Oh, we're talking about me again, are we? What? Trip, it's your fault. Ten years ago, freshly married and just out of college, you convinced me to go into advertising instead of art. What? If it weren't for you, I could be a real artist by now. <sighs> I, yeah. I clicked on this stream to oh. chill. This is so stressful, says someone. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> no. Ah, you disagree. Thank you. That help, Grace. Grace, I did not stop you from becoming an artist. I'm trying to help you get your life together. Ugh. No. I don't you, think you she's falling for me. Both, not just one. Walter, you think this is all my fault, don't you? See, you lied to me from the moment we got married. Insisted I'd be better. Walter, you think I'm lying? <laughs> Could be. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Oh, this is too much. I can't take I'm this. getting whiplash. Why not? Why? No, don't don't talk to me right now. Never. Let's talk some more about us, our relationship. No. Never. Walter. I I know. Deep down, Grace and I trip i mean i i just think back to that christmas eve i proposed to her walter we uh who knows walter it's time that trip finally Grace, just admits don't. that our no, marriage you don't need to i think i gotta our marriage stop is not it. stop it man they hate each other i gotta wait until they ask me a yes or no question to use the eight ball i think What's wrong? What? I said what's oh, Thank you. Just saying that helps me. See, this this is how it's been for the past 10 years. Look, let's switch the focus to Trip. Walter, every time Trip is unhappy, he rushes out and buys some new gadget. What are you talking about? You're always buying stuff. Trip, you're the one who's always bringing home an electric lemon zester or automatic creme brulee torch. Walter. <laughs> Why? Why? Walter, that helps him. Oh, wh what? I just, I just like to own the finest, that's all. Let's continue focusing on Trip. Yes. Walter, look around this apartment. It's got everything anyone would ever want. But Grace, oh no, she's never satisfied. Yeah. Trip. Ugh, I'm so sick of this. Pizza Taquito, thank you for the resub, dude. And thank you, Volkite, well, for the bits. I, I mean... I appreciate it, guys. We've got everything. Trip, you just don't... Ugh. This place is awful. All this stuff. Having all this money makes us so happy. We're so happy, aren't we, Trip? Jesus, what do you want? Now you're unhappy because we're too well off? Walter. What the fuck? Th isn't that ridiculous? Why did that happen? Um, no. No, Walter. Thank you. That helps me. Trip, see, I don't want all this stuff. I'm, I'm siding with her. I, I want to side with her. I want... Look, let's not focus on just me or you. Let's talk about us. 
trip, you just pretend to like all this stuff. Fancy cigars and fine wine. You think I'm not good enough. I never said that. I'm saying there's more to you than all this. Pack your things, Trip. Let's keep talking about us both, not just one of us. You know what's so annoying? Is when you pretend to be all romantic. What? Trip, it is such an act. Oh my god! <laughs> Walter. What? Oh. So what do I say? What do I say to these guys? Let's talk about Trip. Aha! Walter, you're saying I'm not communicative? That's not what I said, Grace. No, that's Grace. just wrong. I'm the one here who is able to actually say things. Look, why don't we talk about us, our relationship? Trip, can't you see? It's the way you speak, the way you talk to me. What? I'm not allowed to be angry? <laughs> what? I can't you sneeze? Do. You don't listen. I'm not allowed Walter. to sneeze? I'm not telling her what to do. I'm trying to help her. Um, what do you want from me? What? See, I'm the one trying to reach out to you, Grace. Ugh. Let's talk some more about us, our relationship. Grace. It's so annoying. Grace, why is it that anytime I want to do something nice for you, you resist it? Trip. Like I always have to convince you. Walter, you know, what? we... Uh... What? What? It's just never easy with you. I need to I need to read what the type of commands you can type are. I'm gonna go. Walter, what? I'm gonna Is I'm gonna come for her. I do? Watch this. You know, let's let's talk about grace. You know. Put this down. Wait. Whenever we go put this down. Christ, Walter, can we possibly talk any more about Grace's stuff tonight? Comfort, comfort. Oh, Walter. Thanks, but what we need right now is to just get all this out in the open. Comfort her. Okay, god damn it, I can't do this What's anymore. Up on her just lips? Stop. Walter, I know what you're hinting at. What am I hinting? About me. What? About our lifestyle. Do you really want the honest truth, huh? Yes. Trip, huh? Yes, yes. tell me the truth. See... Walter, I've been now listening carefully to what to you've been saying way. tonight. You've really been pushing me. It makes me wonder if you're really my friend. Grace. Walter, I've I got to friend. ask you, yes or no. Do you really think that telling me I'm not communicative wait, wait. and what you said about listening too much to your spouse wait, th that this, I'm supposed to realize this question. something about myself from all that wait this is, is so, what you this said question is too deep to add up wait how to something she, is it i just want a yes or no <laughs> wait i don't know <laughs> uh, this is not a trick question yes all right <gasps> Trip. Through our whole marriage, I've let you dominate me. Oh, I don't want to know. As a kid, my parents took care of everything. I don't want to know about all of that. <laughs> Made decisions for me. <laughs> like Grace. Trip, I've used you and our apartment full of expensive crap to hide. To avoid responsibility for myself. Oh, come on. I can't don't... avoid growing up forever, Trip. Jesus. <sighs> so, Jesus. Walter. Did that just make I... them break up? I'm going to give you the truth, too, Grace. What? Oh, no. Grace. <sighs> <sighs> I'm I'm just af afraid of of being poor. Poor? Trip, we have so much. What? <laughs> what do you It never feels like enough. <laughs> As a kid, it was my family was always on the edge. So you weren't rich. We but... even spent 6 months in a shelter once. Oh my god. 
She hates him Why because he's stop? poor. He's a kind of protection from that ever happening again. What do you mean you're wasting your money on these fucking statuettes or whatever this is? That's a big penis. Oh my god. Walter? I... Ugh, this changes everything. Yes, it does change everything. What, what are you... Does it? What is, don't go through the wall, man. I think it's over. <gasps> Trip, what? No. It's over, Grace. Can't you see that? That is a first edition bad dragon. What? Not just you I just, just told, told me. you something about me I should have said a long time ago. I'm afraid of being poor. Yes, and like I said, from the beginning, I've let you control me. Trip, no. I. See, we... Grace, this is about me as a person and, and about you as a person, but it's not about us. About our marriage. I see that now. Us? Our marriage? He's leaving. No, wait. Walter, I'm sorry. You really helped me, though. So, thanks. Trip. Oh! That <laughs> 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 walk away. Oh, my God. Comfort. I should have told him that... <laughs> I... I could have told him that... Comfort. I did it! I did it! I got them to break up! Oh! Who was that? Thank you, Les, for the 100 bits. And thank you, Paul Fee. Thank you for the first time, Prime, dude. Chat, I got them to break up. I got them to break up with the Magic 8-Ball. That was entirely the Magic 8-Ball. That wasn't me. Now I'm going to try to seduce her. That's going to be my next thing. 8-Ball is better streaming than Charbroid. Okay, well... You don't have to say such hurtful things. Your actions have consequences. I hope you know that. I'm not crying. I'm just on the verge. <laughs> what was that? He's scared of being poor. So he's like overcompensating by buying a bunch of shit. <laughs> Is that what it was? Seduce the eight ball. Now wait a minute. Chat, I want to buy a magic eight ball. I want one bad. This is Wobble. Hey, it's Trip. <laughs> it sounds just like him, dude. Uh, geez. It's been a long time since we got together. Hey. But, uh. <laughs> hello? Uh, hello? Is there an 8-ball bot for chat? 8-ball bot for chat? Oh, there probably is. You know what? There probably is. Thank you, Les. I do not sound like that. Well, but you so do. Only answer chat with magic 8-ball. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm not going to talk to you guys anymore. All right, instructions. Oh, wait, no, this is... Wow, look at this keyboard. Grace and Trip are in a desperate situation. They need you. You can influence them in several ways. Exactly how is up to you. One approach is try and help them to get them to work through their problems. Or you could try to provoke and upset them. Even be cruel if you want. You could try to dig under the surface to expose the secrets they're hiding. Sometimes it's necessary to talk that's fast and interrupt Grace or Trip to get a word in. Oh, that's a good mechanic. That, 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 I should try that more. They tend to respond to agreement and disagreement, praise, criticism, flirtation, references to relationship topics such as divorce and sex, questions about their life, explanations and advice, and so on. As attentions build, they might try to force you to take sides. Eventually, they may seek your advice to get them to tell you what's wrong with them. Depending on what you say or do will determine if they stay together or not. The side needs to be replayed several times. 
new sub who does. Okay. So I need to... I'm going to try to get them to stay together this time. I got them to break up. Monkey brain, thank you for the dollar. Congrats on getting them to divorce. You know... It wasn't easy, but the magic eight ball pulled through in the end. I can't see chat. I know, I know. My window is black. You know, I've had to ask you about this. Oh, there it is. I'll get rid of it in just a minute. Fine, trip. Fine. Thank you, Monkey Brain, and thank you, Grizz, for the twenty-eight months. Walter. Wait, hey, my, my window's I fucked I heard up. I can't out see. Here. Great to see you. It's been a while. How's it going? I can't see my window. Can you guys see the stream right now? Well, let's not talk out here. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, it'll be just a sec while yeah. I go get Grace. It's completely frozen on my end. Blind playthrough? Well, the, I guess we'll do the melon thing. I can see it on OBS. No, no, here we are. Walter. Hi, how Nothing are happened. you? I am so happy to see you after so long. Yeah, it has been a long time. Okay, Walter, you know what? Whoa. I think you should leave. Oh, 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 oh. Look at SCP. You'll be fine. You just have to go. Hope you're well, man. Much love. He took me to that pocket dimension. All right. <laughs> Restarting. <laughs> Dude, Dagan, thank you for the resub. Hope you're doing good too. Yeah, it's because I said melon. Apparently, melon, they think it means like breast. Mm. Oh. If you say anything offensive, they kick you out immediately. I bet I could come up with some stuff that they wouldn't catch. Like if I called him a simp, that wasn't a word back then, dude. Booba. No, it would probably pick up boob. I wonder how they react to Twitch emotes. They wouldn't, they would, yeah. I'm gonna say like Omega lol to one of them. I'm gonna talk like Twitch chat. Call Chip a beta male soy boy. Hey, it's Trip. Hey, Wobo. <laughs> Hey, it's Wobo. All right, let's get them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit the door swinging. Okay, look, I'm not even gonna give them a second to talk. Insult trips voicemail skills. Okay, thank you for the bits, dude. I wish it wasn't so, um, like. Where are the new wine glasses? Don't let them, don't let them fight. That should be. Oh my god, I can hear you guys. Open up! Walter! Hi! Hi, it's so great I'm to in. see you! <laughs> Hi. Hi! Hug! Wow, it's so great to see you after so long. It's Joey, great. Come on in! Okay. No, no, here we are! FBI! <laughs> Don't look back Walter. at me like that. Hi, how are you? Oh, it's Why so are you nice so to close you. to me? Oh, like I want to do it so bad. Yeah, it has been a long time. Hi. Mm -hmm. mm, happy smile sound. And I've got to say, you hug. look really before it gets good. awkward. Hug before so it gets awkward. Come on in, make yourself at home. Well, she didn't register the hug. Oops. I need to go close the door. Okay. Walter. Wait, what if I snuck out? And makes me remember the wonderful times we all used to have. <laughs> happy smile sound. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We've we've missed you. Missed you Whoa, too. I... Uh, well, tonight is special. What did they... Remember, it was almost exactly ten years ago tonight that you introduced us, senior. Yes. 
we really want to thank you for years and years of happiness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I interrupted her saying pain. You really are getting along well tonight. Oh, Walter. Oh, uh, you're hugging me. Oh, that's nice of you. Grace, aren't you glad we invited him over? <clears throat> Walter, she hates my guts, dude. This. Yes, go take a look. Comfort. Oh, that's... Oh, that's nice, Grace. I think a hug was just what you needed. <sighs> Walter, come on! By the way, anybody, join okay. me on the couch if you like. Um, now, Walter... He's got that e-ball, I really need that. What does this picture make you think of? Um... Think of? <laughs> that's easy. Walter, Italy. in a word... What does this say to you? Say to you, say to you. Yes, good question. Good question. They're se they seem already a little happier, by the way. Um, beauty. Mm, no. Hey, what's wrong with that? That's a perfectly good answer. <laughs> Trip, that no, was a perfect a answer. This says... I liked that. This says, uh, fucking poor. Romance. It says romance. Oh, romance. Romance. Oh, romance. That was tricky. Good one, Trip. Perhaps. <laughs> he sp <laughs> he's, he's using the eight ball strat. <laughs> he shook the eight ball. Uh, I'm oh, thirsty. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fix us some drinks in a sec. Ah, you'll be the first to sample from my new set of imported drinking glasses. Sounds great. Yeah. Anyway, Trip, there's nothing wrong with disagreeing in front of our We're friend. not disagreeing. It's okay. What? No, 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 I'm good. We're good. Every, everything is good. Dude, this music. <clears throat> don't shake, don't you fucking read that. <laughs> I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, drinks. This drinks. is great. For us, I'm going to open well, uh, wait, wait, don't I open the board. No, it, no, no, don't open that. Mm, wait, that's so, so bad. I'm going to open an exquisite. No. What? Oh, I, I thought you'd love that. Why? Trip, don't force your fancy wine on him. Walter, maybe you'd like some juice or uh, mineral juice. water. Yeah, no, we need to open oh, this Oh, fuck, come on. Is here. That's We're gonna be the one that makes him mad. That's all there is to it. I've been dying to try this Bordeaux for a long time. That's, so a, that's a relationship one. Wine, is it? I want, juice. I want juice. I want juice. From our wedding that we were going to drink on our I want juice. wedding anniversary, right? Please, I want juice. Whoops. Ah, this is bullshit. Uh, no, you're full of shit. Our anniversary wine. Sometimes I feel like our whole ma okay. No, please don't take sides. It's going to do more harm. Comfort. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Why is she you. in a different room right now? Juice. <laughs> Walter, can you believe this? Oh. Comfort. Walter? Yeah, I can predict what you'll say. The way you keep talking about Tripp's goddamn drink. It's okay. Don't be... So damn critical. Italy. Trip, our whole marriage, you're... Italy. What, what are you saying? Italy. Okay, you know what? Walter? I'm going to ask you something. Oh no, here we Grace, go. Grace, Trip, let me ask our guest a question. Oh god, here we go. Walter? Yes Walter. or no? You're, In uh... a marriage, shouldn't one person try to make their spouse a better person even if they don't want it? Um, that's what? tricky. What? I, I mean, even if they don't actually want it, shouldn't you help your spouse understand a better way to be? Can I get some juice? Look, you don't need to answer. I don't need to hear anymore. Don't you see, Trip? Our marriage is a sham. Just want Trip, some juice. Don't you see that? It's all fake. All pretend. Just want a little juice. Oh, you are heartless. Just stay away from me. Still waiting on that juice. What, what are you saying? What? <laughs> Where are you trying to I was talk not to talking me? to you. Walter, this is not normal. This has never happened. It's okay. Walter? No. Walter, Comfort him. We just need to get this all under control. That's what we need. 
Walter, what? it's time that Trip finally Grace, just admits don't. that our marriage no, you don't need admits to. that our marriage Stop is it. not. Stop it. Stop talking, Grace. No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep our focus on Trip. Walter, come on. I don't feel like fixing drinks at this moment. Fill this with God. juice. Fill this Walter, with juice, please. Can we just stop talking about trip stuff, please? <sighs> I'm taking matters into my own hands. I'm done. Walter. <sighs> Put. Th take this. Let's keep talking <sighs> about trip. Damn it, trip. You and my parents are always planning these. Stop talking. No. Ah, you want to know more? Thank you. That helps. Grace, you never want to go on vacation with me and your parents. God. So I have to plan everything. Uh, go behind the bar table. Okay. No. We it's hard. To, very hard to control this chat, both, by the way. Not just one. It's so annoying. Grace, why is it that anytime I want to do something nice for you, you resist it? It, it won't let me back there. Like I always have to convince you. It won't let me. Walter, you know we. Uh, Let's keep talking about us both, not How just about that one juice. Us. Walter. <laughs> I want to drink. Walter. I want to drink. Walter. Thirsty. Walter. Could I get a drink? Walter. I'll try. <laughs> I'm so dry. Let's keep the focus on us, our relationship. Trip, can't you see? It's the way you speak, the way you talk to me. What? I'm not allowed to be angry? You tell me what to do. You I don't really would like Walter. some juice. <sighs> Walter. Walter. Ice. Walter. Look, let's switch the focus to Trip. Walter. Grace. You think this is all my fault, don't you? No. No? Oh. Well, thank God you disagree. That helps. I I'm gonna. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to mediate between them right now. I'm trying to be the best of both. Look, let's not focus on just me or you. Let's talk about us. You know, Grace. Ever since I first proposed to you. No, no, don't say that. Ten years ago now. Trip. Ah. Uh, juice. Walter. I have to interrupt. I can't let them talk about the bad things. Um. Let's talk about Italy. Ah, Walter, you're saying I'm not communicative. No. No, that's, not what that's I'm just wrong. I'm the one that's not what I'm saying. able to actually say things. Okay, that's it. No more of this bullshit. <laughs> Walter, I know what you're trying to hint at about me. Nothing. About our marriage? I'm well, not hinting. Walter, hold on, hold on. Let me speak. I'm not hinting anything. Do you two want the truth? Huh? No, Walter, no. Wal the tr trip. Grace? Yes. See? Walter. No. I've been paying attention to what you've been saying tonight. You've been really pushing me tonight. I'm sorry. Don't it leave. It makes me wonder if you're really my friend or not. Comfort. Trip. Walter, comfort. Quit interrupting me. Let me comfort, speak. Comfort, Saying comfort. That Grace is not communicative. Comfort, comfort. Wait. Walter, let me finish. Don't say it. Hug him. <laughs> Kiss him. I might have to mix it up if he's if he keeps. Um. Let's have drinks. Who end their toil and end leave. No. Hug him. I, I think I broke him. Yeah, I think I actually broke him. He's not... Wait, let's see if he responds to it. <laughs> Party boy, thank you for the 20 months of tier 3, dude. Much appreciated. Let me go in here. I want to explore their house while they're broken. What are they going to do? Stop me? Thank you a lot, party boy. Is this the new ending? Is 
Steal the juice. No new messages. That was precariously perched. Holy sh... Dude, they're just... St this is so scary. What are they doing? Like, this is freaking me out. That's about to hatch! That's about to hatch! Hello? Melon them? I don't want them to... I'm scared. I just try to like walk out. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is so scary, dude. She's it. Want to comment on the wedding photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful photo. Can I sit on a different area of the couch? No, it's all the same. S same melon? Okay. We'll do the melon strat. Wait, let me... They're not doing anything. She didn't do anything. We broke it. We actually broke it. Can you kill them? <laughs> Dude, I don't understand. I, yeah, this is what too many hugs does to someone. I hug him four times and he breaks. Come on, like, make him... It looks like his head's on backwards. Look at those nasty little mangled hands. I gotta figure out how to unfa unfreeze time. This is, this is important to me. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, there's a table leg. Yeah, I just broke his brain. Fucking severed the little cortex. I feel like there's got to be a way to get him unstuck. Mm. Ah! Wait, what, I bet you could kiss him from behind. This is so scary. All right, I think we got to restart chat. We've officially broken it. Hello? Paris? No, they're not responding. We're restarting. <laughs> I broke them. I was hoping we could fix it, but they we broke them. No, I've tried everything. I've tried. They don't respond to anything. It's just they broke. Yeah, I, I do want to play AI Dungeon in a little bit. 
with a way to get the best innings to always say yes? I'll try that. We'll just see what happens if I always say yes. AI dungeon with voice commands. Wait, there's voice commands in AI dungeon? There's AI dungeon too, isn't there? Cryptic, what's up, dude? Thank you for the resub. Dung. AI Dungeon is terrible now. What happened to AI Dungeon? I, I've seen a couple people say that now. What 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 changed about AI Dungeon? Horny people happened to AI Dungeon. AI Dungeon devs admitted to looking at private stories. Well, if I'm typing shit into AI Dungeon, I assume <laughs> it's being logged, right? That's how like those, that's how that, that's how that shit works, right? It fucking like, <laughs> that's how, that's how that shit works. Why do I care if someone reads it? <laughs> this isn't the fucking I'm not, I'm not in the privacy of my own home writing my in my journal. <laughs> Where are the new wine glasses? What for? A good chunk of people use it to ERP, so they took out like sex talk. I don't mind that because here's the thing, chat. When I used AI Dungeon in the past, I couldn't fucking talk because it always it would be like you're talking 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 and then it's like pulls down your pants like it fucking always reverts to like horny talk so if they took that out i don't have a fucking problem with that walter <laughs> hey i thought i heard someone out here God, yes it's been so long since we've seen you all right wow it's really really great to see you so come on in uh It'll be just a sec while I go get Grace. Okay, I'm gonna make myself comfortable. I'm gonna force them to talk, sit next to each other, by the way. This is a strat. Where am I? See, now they have to sit next to each other. Hello? Walter. She's Hi, so how are oh my you, god. god. It's been a while. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and I've got to say, you look really good. Sit down. Uh well, anyway, make yourself at home. Oops. I need to go close the door. So, Walter, you can help me understand oh. where I went wrong with my new decorating. <laughs> Grace. Oh, I will try to get out. I try to get out. That. <sighs> Oh, Oops, I uh, said well, yes. I'm gonna say so yes. So this couch seemed like the right choice at the time. Yes. Well, hold on, hold on. Take a closer look. Give it a chance to soak in a little. I bet I can return most of this and start over again on this room. Yes. Oh, how nice. I've been <laughs> well, waiting yes. so long for someone to say that. Wait, what? Trip, our friend has just been refreshingly honest about my decorating, which I really appreciate. Yes. Yes. Did you see <laughs> someone finally gave me their honest opinion? Oh. Walter, take a look at this photo I just put up from our trip to Italy a couple of weeks ago. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We just come here. Walter, come over here and sit on the couch with me. Yes. No, hold on. Now. Walter, what does this picture make you think of? Oh, trip, don't put our friend on the spot like that. Yes. Mm, no. I like that. That's a good answer. <laughs> no, just take a look. This says... Romance? Right! Love! Romance! <sighs> yes. Yeah, yeah, romance. <laughs> oh, everything in Italy was so romantic. The scenery, the food, the wine, oh, and the art. Let me sit the down, please. Art. Isn't that right, Grace? Yes. Let me sit yeah. down. Um, 
I wanted the art that was so amazing. I want to sit down right in this corner. I don't want to sit on the, in the middle. Huh. There we go. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've um, I've missed you. Hey, I just realized something. What? Yes. Oh, tonight. I yeah, tonight is special. Walter, remember? It was almost exactly 10 years ago tonight that you introduced us. Yes. We really want to thank you for <laughs> years and years of... Yes. E yeah, yeah. It's great that you could be here tonight. He's stand... Don't, sh don't read that off, please. <laughs> I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I... This is so scary, dude. Uh... Walter, I'm sorry you didn't come here to hear this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, wait, what's wrong, Trip? Trip, it's okay if we disagree in front of our friend. We're not disagreeing. Yes. What? You know what? It's about time I fix us some drinks. Yes. Uh, well, um, we need drinks. This is great. For us, I'm going to open an amazing, uh, I mean, exquisite Bordeaux. Yes. Top of the line, very rare, very difficult to God, acquire. God, Trip, you're just like my dad with the whole wine. Perfect. Oh, you're going to love this. No, no. Walter, maybe you'd like some juice or uh, mineral water. Yes. Okay, Trip, you heard him. N no, this is a special get-together. I want to open this wine. I'm not going to settle <laughs> for less. You seem perfectly happy settling for less when you sneak off to that crappy little sports bar down the street. Yes. What? Don't think I don't know about your secret little hangout where you watch football and drink light beer with lowly construction workers. How how do you know how do you know about that? If only the guys at your high class poker games knew about that, huh? What Some habits are hard to break, I guess. Yes. Ugh, you're driving me insane. We're gonna uh, die tonight. No. I'm the one going insane. Chat, they're gonna kill us. Goddamn sports bar. This you this is new. So I never heard this. Desperately want to be high class so badly. Walter, can you believe this? Yes. <laughs> what what are you saying? Romance. God damn. Walter, what? are you trying to say oh, we've got Christ. problems or I've got problems? That oh, this God. is all my fault from the start. Is that what you think? Yes. All right, you know what? Walter, I need to ask you something. Grace, Trip, let me ask our guest a question. Walter? Yes or no? I've already got it queued up. If there was a thing about yourself you didn't like, but your husband or wife likes it, is it still okay to hide it? Yes. What? Oh, yes, that's fine, <laughs> that's fine. Trip, I can't take this denial anymore. Oh, You're suppressing Jesus. yourself. You're so yes. fake. I hate it. Mr. Ito, thank you for the yeah, resub. Go on. Get out of my face. I can't stand friggin' looking at you. Yeah. God damn it, Grace. What, what are you saying? What? what? Yes. Are you talking I to me? I was not talking to you. Walter, this has never, ever happened before. Yes. Walter? <sighs> Trip is just so... Oh, so we're talking about me, are we? Dude, what? they're like weird little Trip, ants. it's your fault. Ten years ago, freshly married and just out of college, you convinced I'm just me watching to go them. into advertising instead of art. What? If it weren't for you, I could be a real artist by now. <sighs> yes. Well, yes? This yes. is insane! Oh, so your broken dreams are my goddamn fault. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, I cannot friggin' believe this. <laughs> yes. No, did I break him again? Let's, let's not oh, oh. focus on just me or you. Let's talk so about us both. Yes. Walter, you, you blame me for all of this, don't you? Yes. See, Grace. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. You think I'm to blame. I'm to blame for all of this. Yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's keep the focus on us, not just one person. Yeah. You've 
You've really held me back, Trip. <laughs> Dude, you Volkeg, thank you for the bits. Me. I've wasted ten years of my life on advertising and redecorating. Oh my god. Walter. <sighs> yes? Yes? Yes. Oh, okay. All of this, our, our life, it's all... <laughs> it's all just been a waste. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. Just stop talking for a second, would you? Yes. Sorry. What's up, Boone? No, I... I, I want us to Thank you, Tynstein. Grace, when we first got together, you told me you dreamed of having your own fancy apartment. What are you talking about? I never... High culture, best yes. of... Yes. Yes? So your stupid wine and opera tickets are all my idea. I hate all this. Ugh. Yes. Yes? Yes. What is his problem? Tell me, please. What is his problem? Yes. Yes? No, just give me a second, please. Ugh. Yes. Let's talk some more about Trip. Walter, look around this apartment. It's got everything anyone would ever want. But Grace? Oh no, she's never satisfied. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. The path to true happiness is buying a <laughs> bunch of fancy crap. Grace, after your upbringing, you Shut have the up, nerve trip. to say- Yes. Yes? Look, <laughs> let's not focus on just me or you. Let's talk about us. Yes. I think, I think- Trip and I are drifting. I am afraid we're becoming disconnected. Grace, what are you saying? Yes. Yes? Ah, uh, yes. That helps us. What? Grace, I'm right here. I'm the I'm the same person. Dude, I've, I feel like it's actually kind of working. Let's keep talking about us both, not just one of us. I think Trip's afraid of visiting his parents. He does everything he can to avoid seeing them. Yes. Yes? Ah, that helps him. What? <laughs> that helps him. She Ridiculous. decides for him. Why would, I, why would I be afraid of their stupid meatloafs and their tacky house and their crappy wine? That helps him. Hit him with a no. I'll try one no. No. You know, I can't say Grace never acts loving towards me. Walter, she's all over me at our goddamn parties, trying to look good in front of the guests. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Ah, thank you. Just saying that helps us. See, Walter, her acting loving is the only reason I like our stupid parties. Yes. Grace, we don't, we don't have to do this. Things are okay. Walter, we can just. I can't stand the pretending anymore. I can't oh, God. take it. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you. Just saying that might help. Him. I, Trip. Run please. is over, is it? Stop pretending. You've got to stop. Okay, that's it. No more of this bullshit. Walter, I know what you're hinting at, okay? No, I'm not hinting about at About me? Yes. You two want the truth? Huh? Yes. Walter. Grace? Yes. Walter. <laughs> See, I've actually been paying close attention to what you've been saying. You've been really pushing me tonight. And I wonder, are you really my friend or not? Trip. Yes. Walter, quit interrupting me. Let me finish. Oh, you Walter. asked me a question, you freak. Yes or no? Do you really think that, and what you said about having more in life and marriage, that it's all supposed to make me realize something about myself? Is what you said tonight supposed to add up somehow to something? Okay. Yes. Okay. Look. When you leave, do a big <sighs> shit in the urinal for them. No. That'll solve it. Walter, everything's fine. We're we're not. We're fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And no, you you don't have to be nice anymore. <laughs> we're we're fine. You're not making some good points. Yeah. If you need to go, you know that that's that's fine. No, no more need to be nice. Okay. Yes. Look, <laughs> Walter. Nothing's changed. We're fine. We'll see you out. Okay. <laughs> Come yes. on. Walter. It was nice There's nothing to else see to say you. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hug him goodbye. Uh, look, we'll uh, we'll see you later. Or or or, or whatever. Hug. 
Is that hugging? Walter, please. And just like that. Come on. Walter, just go, please. All right. Yes. Nice seeing you. You too. <laughs> yes. You really outdid yourself tonight. Oh no. How could you speak to me? Oh no. <laughs> you ever thought to consider my feelings for once? Me? What the hell were you thinking? A <laughs> <laughs> <I> kiss. <him. laughs> <laughs> you guys want to try AI dungeon for a little bit? Thank you, Bacon Products and Side J for the bits. You stage play? I did that earlier and it like opened up a document. I don't think that was a good ending. I think that was kind of a uh, kind of a not good ending. All right, um, let me see how to get AI dungeon working. So, what was the consensus? Do I do AI dungeon two? And then um, play it on browser. Yes. <laughs> new um i know you guys can't see yet give me just a second you need a free account um okay let me make an account really quick wait no how do i log in maybe register Was that Dr. Exavolt? Thank you for the first time prime, dude. And VIP Impair, first time prime. Thank you. Annoyed sigh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate the primes. Give me a second, I'm making an account and everything. <laughs> All right, um, Get my window up. Hello. Thanks for subscribing. Who was that? Swifty four twenty. Thank you for the first time sub, dude. See you later, S'more. Have a good night. All right, let's see. Pick a setting. Oh, wait, I should probably do a set set game AI dungeon two. Is that a is that a game? All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, chat. What world do we want to do? Love your content, dude. Thank you, Swifty. Halloween. Let's do Halloween. That actually does sound cool. It was a dark and stormy night. Alone, the room haunted. Note, Halloween night. Uh, let's do alone. 
Generating story. Ow. Thud, thud, thud. You hear a pounding noise like the beating of a drum. As you awake with a start... Wait, I should probably put on some light. What's a good game soundtrack for background? Oh, wait, let's close this. What's a good game soundtrack background? Something that's like kind of in the in the low, like boom, 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 boom. Something spooky, but not um. Lisa RPG. That's that's sort of in the forefront. I want something like low and like kind of creepy. Um. Oblivion dungeon music. Okay, let's try that. There we go, dude. I love that sound. All right, chat. As you awake with a start, you look around and find yourself alone, lying on the damp ground in a dark clearing. You try to remember what happened, but you can't even remember who you are. Everything is hazy and your head aches. You stand up, but a chill runs down your spine as you hear the drumming sound again, louder and closer. The forest around you starts to glow deep red. And with a feeling of dread, you know something is coming for you and you should run. As you turn to flee, you remember the demons. <laughs> you look back and see a horde of misshapen beings slowly approaching you. As they draw closer, their skin starts to bubble and seethe. Um, do, um, how, don't you say, do it, don't you do it like I run or something like that, wait. Wait, what the fuck? My shit's backwards, one minute. That'll work. Okay, um, let's see. What do we do? No I do search for a weapon. You search for a weapon. You look around as the horde of demons bears down on you. You spot a tree not far from you and run to it, thinking that it could come in handy. Um a tree? Pick up the tree. You pick up the tree. <laughs> you grab the bark of the tree and pull yourself up. Okay, never mind. As you stand on the branches, they start to shake as the weight of the tree bears down on them. Um. <laughs> okay, what do we do? Let's see. Uh. Jump off the tree. <laughs> You jump off the tree. Thud. The bark breaks and falls away as you fall to the ground. You try to roll out of the way, but your ankles twist under you and you can't move. So here's what we've done, chat. I'm running from demons. I climb a tree. Then I immediately jump back out of the tree and break my ankles. Scream for help. You scream for help. As you scream, a pounding on the tree breaks your concentration. The tree starts to shake even more as you try to get off of it. <laughs> what? Can't you continue and just push space? As you look up, you see the demon horde. Boo! They all say in unison. Ah! Ah! One of them starts to climb up the tree. <laughs> kick the demon. You kick the demon. You try to kick the demon, but he holds on and hits you in the face with his fist. You fall down and hit your head on a rock. Donk! The blackness takes you away. Um, well, I'm unconscious now. <laughs> I, I don't think I died. I, I just... Did I die? I think I just knocked myself out. Wake up. You wake up. You open your eyes and see the light of morning. You're lying on the ground with your head pounding. Groggily, you try to get up, but you notice your ankle is broken. Rip off foot. You rip off foot. Dizzle, you stand up and wince from the pain. Your ankle aches severely, but it's just the headache that's killing you right now. 
I want to take I want to take my foot off. Take my foot off. You take your foot off. But before you can stand, you feel something snap in your leg. Ah! You scrumple to the ground in agony. I broke my leg. I broke my ankle. I stood up and broke my leg. Ah! Panting and wincing, you slowly look down at your leg. It's nearly all black and blue, with only a few bones showing. Oh no! Oh! A deep cut runs through it, and blood is slowly flowing out of the top. You can't walk. You try to crawl away, but it's no use. Examine surroundings. You examine surroundings. You raise your head and look back at the carnage from last night. The dead light everywhere. Some torn apart. Some with missing body parts, and some even partially eaten. What did I do last night? What did I fucking do last night, dude? Oh, you can hear the guinea pigs? Um. Use. Use shirt to bandage wounds on to bandage my wounds. You use shirt to bandage your wounds. As the, whoa. Use use shirt to bandage your wounds. As the sun rises, you slowly get up and look at you like it hurts more than you can describe, but you're lightheaded from the lack of blood flow. You look at your wounds, and you realize that the shirt isn't going to fix it. You need a tourniquet. There's no way you can get one. I'm going to use this one. The shirt isn't going to fix it. You need a tourniquet, and there's no way you can get one. Attempt to make a makeshift tourniquet out of my shirt. I could do it with I could do it with a shirt, right? I could just tie it really fucking tight. You attempt to make a makeshift tourniquet out of your shirt. You tear off a sleeve from your shirt and tie it tightly around your wound, applying pressure. The pain is almost unbearable. It prevents the bleeding for now. One sec. Sorry, Alexa was talking to me. Um, okay. The pain is almost unbearable, but it prevents the bleeding for now. Okay. Um, so I, I, I have nothing. How come every new streamer I find is somehow connected to bed bananas? Who did you find recently? Um, weep over your... Okay, I'm gonna call out for help. Scream for help. Wait, well, I'm gonna, maybe, um, examine the demons. As you look at the demons, you notice they seem to be less powerful than the others. They haven't been upgraded with cybernetics or anything. You wonder why cybernetic demons? Whoa! Holy shit. Oh, wait, let me set my title. Title. Um, let's see. So we need, uh, we need to, okay, we need to get to safety before nightfall, I would imagine. If, if it falls night again, I would imagine the demons are going to come back out and they're going to eat me alive. I don't know what happened that there's no, that I didn't die, but, um. Let me, I'm push center. You struggle to remember. Last night, an intern that was a complete stranger to you fended off the demons with a pole and a flashlight. Then something hits you. The light! There was an intern, chat. Holy hell, we were saved by an intern last night. Thank God. Search for the intern who helped me last night. You search for the intern who helped you. You can only hope that you can find him before the horde reaches him. Struggling to stand, you limp over to the corpses of the dead hunters and examine the ground. 
As you look for a clue as to the intern's whereabouts, you can't help but feel like this is all some kind of sick dream. Then you find a footprint leading towards the garage. Okay, we're... Chat, I'm slowly getting a setting um, established in my mind. We're in like a neighborhood, apparently. I thought we were like in a medieval setting, but I guess... Yeah, I guess it's in a neighborhood. Just one footprint leading towards the garage. Limp toward... Limp toward the garage. You limp toward the garage. As you enter the dim lit garage, you see a single car. It's an old beaten up sedan with a smashed in front end. The hood is up and you see the intern inside working on the engine parts. Oh yeah, baby, we found the intern. We found the intern. Okay, let's see. Say. You saved me last night, didn't you? Kill intern. <laughs> no. The intern looks up and wipes his hands on a dirty rag. Ah, yes, last night. Wasn't that me you saw? I'm very good at hiding. Hiding? Say. I owe you my life. The intern... The intern grabs a wrench and drops it on the ground. I couldn't save my father from the demons, so I hunt them. Dude, this guy's badass. <laughs> What is your name? A hint. It's in your hands. <laughs> what? The intern lifts up a hood and points to a bundle of wires. This is my name. He says, then drops it down. <laughs> what does that mean? Your name is in wires. <laughs> Your name is Wires? <laughs> the intern nods. <laughs> he seems to consider his next answer. Why didn't you just say your name, dude? <laughs> this is my name. <laughs> I can't seem to remember my name. <laughs> Do you know who I am? He furrows his brow and thought, I'm not sure. Is your name James? <laughs> no. Is it John? <laughs> Maybe my name is John. Maybe your name, my name is John. Do I look like a John? He pauses for a moment. I'm not sure. You might look like a John. Maybe my name is Clarence. <laughs> I think I want to be called Clarence. The intern nods, then begins working on the engine parts. You continue to talk to the intern. What's your name? My name is Wires. <laughs> I asked him again what his name was. Can I call you something else? I don't like your name. The intern slowly thinks for a second. How about Charlie? Sure, he smiles. That's my name, Clarence. <laughs> Wait, he smiles. That's my name, Clarence. The intern points to the bundle of wires. <laughs> He's pointing to the wires again. <laughs> Dude. Throw the bundle of wires outside. As you walk outside, you notice the bundle of wires in the middle of the street and pick it up. You find a nail and begin to pry the wrapper off as you walk to the... What? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you... um. Let me Let me do this. Say, hey, you gonna be able to get that car up and running? Why? <laughs> I 
I think so, Wire says. If I can fix this end first, the car should start up. This end? <laughs> You're referring to the, to the engine of the car as this end of the car. Good. We need to get the hell out of here. Now. Wires nods and walks outside to inspect the vehicle. As he looks at it, you notice blood trailing down his arm. <gasps> Wires. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Wires pauses and wipes the blood from his arm on his pants. Yeah, he frowns. I cut it on a piece of glass. I think I'll be fine. Say... I'm gonna go look for some supplies while you fix the car. Do you need anything? Wire shakes his head. You walk into the forest and find a bunch of empty cans at the base of a tree. <laughs> you look up why do I have these cans here? I'm just gonna roll it on and see what this says. What? <laughs> this is supplies. You go back to the garage and begin trying to fix the car. After about an hour, you decide it would be a good idea to take a break. Wires looks up from his work and nods at you. We're just- we can't fix this car. Dude, this feels like a dream. Like when, when you're trying to get something to happen in a dream, but everything's just going wrong. I want to fix the car. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna say- You try to fix the car. As you sit down to eat, Wires comes over to you. Let me do the driving, he says. You nod and look out the window at the forest. You watch as Wires punches the dashboard. <laughs> Having problems, Wires? Wires nods and throws the car in gear, quickly driving- Whoa! Ah, you son of a bitch! He yells as you slide down the side of the building into a roll. <laughs> Wait, Wires nods and throws the car in gear, quickly driving out of the gr- Is he leaving me? Ah, you son of a bitch! He yells as you slide down the side of the building and into a roll. Wires! <laughs> Why- where are you going? We got company, Wires shouts, taking out his wrench. Probably demons. Wires, you say. There's no way you can fight demons with just a wrench. We need to get in the car and leave. We can outrun the demons. Wires nods and gets in the car. He slams the door shut. You notice a crack in the windshield that looks big enough to fit your head through. <laughs> why, why, why would I want to do that? Okay. Um, well, better try it. You put your head through the hole in the windshield. As the glass breaks, you feel a blast of cold air. Wiles look, looks back and honks the car's horn. Come on, we gotta go, he shouts. The demons are after us. Okay, I, that, I don't understand what that was. Um, I'm just gonna... You get in the car, so wires can uh, start driving. I want to be direct so they know that I'm ready to leave. You get in the car so wires can start driving. Wires, start the car! Are you sure? He asks nervously. Yes, I'm fucking sure! You nod and quickly hop in the passenger seat. Wires hands you a wrench and within a minute he is... He has the window fixed. Okay. I want to leave. Wires. Start driving the car. Now. Wires nods and pulls out of the garage. Go ahead and drive while I assess the situation. Assess the, assess the situation? Wires asks nervously. Good idea. Wires gets out his cell phone and makes a quick call. Hey, we're lost and running from demons. He listens for a moment. 
Yeah, we might need backup. Nah, just some burns, thanks. He hangs up and looks at you. They're sending some guys to pick us up. Who? The dogs. <laughs> you know the gang? You think back to your class picture and the guy that looked like a B. Oh, wait, looked like a B movie tough guys. <laughs> wait, you think back to your class picture and the guys that looked like B movie tough guys. Yeah, I remember them. What about them? Apparently, they're taking a break right now, but if they see demons, they'll be here in a flash to take care of the problem. Sounds good. We need to get to New York. I don't know. I just want to go to New York. Wires nods. Yeah, that's the plan. It's a long way to New York, though. You think for a second. How fast can you drive this thing? Wires shrugs and shifts into gear. It's a vet. It's supposed to go fast. We're in a Corvette? <laughs> this whole time we've been in a Corvette? I didn't even know. <laughs> Holy shit. Kick it. Wires looks around nervously as he floors the gas pedal. You hear a road outside. A roar outside, and the car lurches forward, quickly leaving the garage and heading down the road. Oh, we're so cool. We're so cool. Holy shit. So what's the deal with these demons? Wait, where... Where did they come from? I don't know Wire's answers, but I'm sure the government has some idea. They probably just found a way to domesticate them or something. But why now? They domesticated the demons. <laughs> they probably want to start a revolution. Wire's looks at you. What did they do? They... Created a demonologist. You watch Wires' face as he seems to process this information. <laughs> Wait, your dad's a demonologist. Yeah, he probably sensed that our family had the bloodline to summon them and decided to use it for their own gain by creating more of them. That's insane. I know, Wires says, but that's what happened. Anyway... Just so you know, you don't have to worry about the demons. They won't be able to harm you. And why is that? Because you're going to be my mate. Wires grins as he speeds down the road. What? <laughs> what? Look, don't worry about the demons, alright? I'll take care of it. No! I don't want to be your mate. I don't want to do that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wires. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Wires. Wires, what state are we in? New York. Are we still in New York? Yeah. If we're in New York and we're not in Kansas anymore, then where the heck is Kansas? Dude, why are we why are we in New York headed to New York? <laughs> We're already where we want. I wanted to be. Til Tilderman grins. I got me a wizard, boys, and he knows the location of that magical store. They pull up to the gas station. Tildermore kills the engine. Who is Tildermore? <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Who is Tilderman? His name is Wires Tilderman? <laughs> Charlie Wires Tilderman. What? What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, wizard. <laughs> Location. Wizard nods eagerly. 
Oh yes, right this way, sirs. The three bikers follow Wizard out the door of the gas station and onto the road. Who? Who are these guys? Chat, I don't know who these guys are. It's the, the, the dogs gang. He leads them past various stores, including a gas station, a coffee shop, and a general store, before pulling up to a metal set of bars. I take it that's the cage. I'm just going to keep letting it play out. I don't know what's going on. The bikers all look at each other. Is he going to be all right? Wires asks. Don't worry. Wizard grins. The demon will be contained. Wizard pulls a key out of his pocket and unlocks the cage. After you, sir. Wizard steps aside to reveal an old dusty sofa. And the bikers all sit down. I'm the demon? What? The, the, this story went off the rails completely. You guys want to do another, a new story? We can try something else. I think it's best we restart. This is, I don't. I have no idea where this went. <laughs> it went so off the rails. All right. Um. Let's try. Keep going. I have no idea what that one's even talking about anymore. Um. Let's try fantasy. Noble, princess, knight, wizard, witch, ranger, squire, peasant, rogue. I'm going to do peasant. Into your character's name. Emma. <laughs> peasant wires. Okay, I'll be wires. It'll be the reincarnation of wires. You are wires, a peasant living in a small village in the kingdom of Larion. You have a pitchfork and nothing else. You dream of getting out of your village and having an adventure. You go to your fields and begin working. You look up and see the royal carriage driving through the village. Out step the king and several soldiers. The king is a large man. Mean. He always looks angry. Explain yourself. He snarls at the farmer. What have I done? I'm but a simple farmer. Scream. Ah! The king throws back his head and roars with laughter. You're a damn wizard, eh, boy. <laughs> I've half a mind to take you in and make you my personal secretary. Say... I'm not a wizard. I'm not a wizard. Watch me try to cast a spell. Nothing will happen. You try to cast a spell, but nothing happens. You feel disappointed. You wanted something exciting. The king is less than impressed with you. He grabs your pitchfork and sends it hurling at your head. Oh! <laughs> you try to cast a spell to teleport out of the way, but nothing happens. You were impaled. <laughs> I died. I died. I died. <laughs> he accused me of being a wizard. I just say I'm not a wizard. He he laughs at me. He throws a pitchfork at my head, and I try to cast a spell. But since I'm not a wizard, I <laughs> die. <laughs> oh my god. Kill Jester. Oh my god! What a fucking. <laughs> Thank you, Sigjaw, for the dollar. Wow. Press enter again. Let's see what happens. The king is delighted and proclaims that an adventurer such as yourself must never have happened. That's it. <laughs> Alright, let's re let's reroll. The king throws his head back and laughs. You're a wizard. I'm no wizard. The king laughs. Bah! You've grown a pair of balls and admit it. What? 
I'd wager no man here has less than three. You blush and look into the fe- <laughs> I don't know what to say. You've grown a pair of balls and admit it. I'd wager no man here has less than three. You blush and look in the... F the king continues laughing. That was good, boy. See you next time. He spurs his horse and leaves. You curse yourself for a fool for believing the king. Wait, I don't still want to talk to the king. <laughs> Say, I think you are the wizard king. The king looks back at you with derision. I don't know what that word means. Amusing, but no. I'd have to be several men to be as big as wizards come. I've heard of some in the academy being as large as giants. <laughs> I think wizards are more are just normal sized. The king laughs again. Now you're just being delusional, but I forgive you for amusing me. The soldiers chuckle at you, na na naivet naivety, at your naivety, na naivety, naivety. <laughs> they said, they said, oh, Megalol. Am I under arrest? One of the king's soldiers draws his swords. <laughs> Maybe. You are struck with fear. <laughs> Please. Please, I'll do whatever you ask of me. Just don't kill me. The soldiers laugh. Ha ha ha! I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tempted. But if you think you can resist, you're wrong. Run, run along home now. Your heart pounds in fear. You attempt to run back to your house. I'm saying this because maybe they'll be like, the guards stop me or something. You run back to your house as fast as you can. You take a deep breath and open the door. You look around and see nothing amiss. You step inside. Your hands shake as you begin... I don't know, what do fucking, what do poor farmers do? I, I, <laughs> now, I'm, that was the plot point, chat. That was the plot point. This was my chance at an adventure and I missed it. I, like, I, the guards showed up and they said, you're a wizard. And I said, no, I'm not. And they said, go home. Hmm. You look out the window to spy on the king. You look in the window and see the king and his men walking up to your front door. You back away from the window and look around the room. You see a small chest and decide to hide in it. How small are we talking? How small? I want... You open up the chest and begin looking for something to hide under. You look above it and notice a small round mirror. You pick it up and hold it in your hands. You gaze into the mirror. You look at your reflection and feel repulsed as though looking at something so foul, so disgusting, that it isn't even human. You drop the mirror and back away from its evil aura. <laughs> you attempt to hide in the small chest as the king enters your home. You quickly hide yourself under the chest. You Under the chest? You hear the door open and you wait patiently for your death. You hear the king laugh as he takes a chair and sits down in front of you. He knows I'm here. He knows. Well, look whose brilliant hiding spot is right under my nose the whole time, he laughs. You feel fear grip your heart as you close your eyes. Please don't harm me, my king. So you're not a complete idiot after all. Good. 
you hear the sound of a blade being drawn and a brief grunt. Open your eyes, peasant. So can I do something like this? Like kind of guide it? You open your eyes and see... The king... Oh wait, I have it on say, yeah. You open your eyes and 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 see the king. Um. Not the penis. You open your eyes and look up the king. Dead. <laughs> you look up and find yourself staring face to face with the king. He wears a red robe with golden trim. You are unsure of the exact rank of the king, but he has to be lieutenant, general, or higher. You won't kill me. You don't kill me. You won't kill me. You don't have the balls. The king stands up and draws a dagger from his side. He slowly approaches you and kneels down beside you. <laughs> his face scrunches up in disgust. And he stabs the dagger into your gut. You're going to die, fucker. But not today. <laughs> You scream like a bear. <laughs> you scream like a girl and don't bear. No! <laughs> no! The king slashes your throat open and you spray blood out in a river. Still alive. His men quickly come in and begin ransacking the house. They take your meager belongings and throw your corpse on top of the ruins. Why I died again? They leave your home to the people of Bearwood. I just keep dying. You scream like a bear. Okay, we'll, we'll return here. Wait, no, 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 no. No, he stabbed me. Okay, you look up and find yourself staring face to face with the king. He wears a, wet, a red robe with a golden trim. You're unsure the exact... Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um... Maybe if I, uh... Maybe if I say, like... Okay, here, I'll tell him to look... I'll look at the mirror. If you believe I'm a wizard, then don't you want proof? Look into that mirror on the ground over there. The king looks at the mirror on the floor and picks it up. He stares into the glass, looking as hard. Looking hard as though searching for something. This better be good. Well, sh I mean, should I, should I have just been a wizard the whole time? I think I'll just be a wizard. Hit enter. Yeah, I could just hit enter and see what, hap what, the, what the game comes up with. He says, King Alexander, if you're looking for proof to kill this man, you don't need to look any further, one of the soldiers says. The king turns to his soldiers. Oh, no. Soldier, if I wanted to kill this man, I'd already be doing it. Go get some rest. The soldier salutes and leaves the room. Wait. <laughs> All right, now the king asks, what? I have a proposal for you. You reply, go on. Ah. Okay, chat, here's, here's, here's how we'll do this. We will convince the king that I am a wizard, but I will work for him if he lets me live. I'm not a wizard, though. S 
say, okay, I'm going to say. Instead of killing me. How about. You use my wizard powers to help you r rule the kingdom. There, that, okay, this will work, this will work. The king raises an eyebrow. How come? The king asks. What? I'm powerful. You finish. How powerful? I can destroy entire armies with the flick of my finger. Wow, that's powerful. <laughs> so what do you say? Would you spare me? And allow me to work for you? The king thinks for a moment. Sure. All right then, he replied. The king grins. Great. Welcome to the royal family, wizard. <laughs> okay. You nervously smile. Um, oh wait, so story. Um Uh I, I'm trying to figure out how to like set the plot point. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, like I'm happy. I, I want to remind the game that I'm not, actually not a wizard. <laughs> um, how do I like? How do I type this out? Do you guys have any suggestions? I I, I want it to be something like. You were nervous because of. The fact that I'm not actually a wizard. Relieved that your bluff worked. Use the pin feature. What is that? You were relieved that the bluff worked. However... Oh yeah, pretending Wait, okay. The king The king takes you into his castle. Because he believes you are a wizard. He has no idea that you had lied to him. Now you must figure out how to keep the bluff going for as long as possible. You know what work? Oh, okay, pinning will... Okay, I see. So pinning makes it... The tick? Let me try this. I don't think that... I don't think that works. Try, try saying something after. Okay, okay. Say, so, what will you have me do as my first task as the royal wizard? You? The king asked him surprised. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> well, it didn't remember it. It didn't remember it. Farts cutely. Welcome to the family, wizard. Okay, I'm just gonna go from here. 
Wait, wait, wait. Press the pin button at the bottom right. Wait, so... Type something. You lied to the king about being a wizard. Like that? The king laughs. It's a title, not a name. Royal family. Ah, what does it do? Allows you to bypass normal security. You tilt your head to the side. How? One of the guards steps forward. With this pass, you are exempt from the royal army, emergency services, and military. You can enter the palace as much as you like. Say. That sounds wonderful. So what will you have me do? You're a wizard. You'll understand. You can help us in the palace, such as with security. That would be wonderful. So what can I help with? The king smiles. Dude, I work at the fucking castle now. I'll escort you to your room and have someone explain everything. Then when you feel ready, I'd like you to come to the throne room. You nod. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! You go with the king. Security wizard! Yeah, baby! You follow the king, shouldering your pack. You walk through the halls of the palace, heading towards your room. You stop in front of a wooden door. Silver metal plates running across it. You open the door. And enter your room. You open the door and toss your pack on the bed. A soldier walks in and quickly salutes. Oh! Sirs, this is room 506. It's, uh, it's been prepared for you, sir. Thank you. Go fetch me... Uh, well, dude, let's just we, let's milk this as much as possible. What what should we, what should we get? Go fetch me. Go fetch me some of your finest cheese. Thank you. Go fetch me some of your finest cheese. The soldier salutes and quickly leaves. You chuckle and sit on the bed, <laughs> grabbing your pack and fishing out a hunk of cheese. I already had cheese. <laughs> What up? What I already have cheese. <laughs> After a hearty snack, you walk over into the mirror. You trace your fingers across your face. A long, thin scar stretches across your face from your right eye to your chin. Thin and sickly white. Say. How am I to convince the entire kingdom that I'm a wizard? You sit in the bed, putting your bare feet on the cold floor. You reach for your boots, slipping them on. You walk to the door and pause. A soldier walks in. Yes? The king has sent me to go with you to the next kingdom, and I'm to escort you to the border. You nod, and let's go. You grab your pack and walk through the halls. You soon arrive at the throne room, where you find the king and a few soldiers waiting. The king stands. I'd like you to meet the wizard who will be accompanying you on your journey. I hope he proves instrumental in helping you prosper in your endeavors. Oh no. <laughs> you clap the king on the shoulders grinning. I'll do my best, sire. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Shall we go then? Yes, let's. You clap your hands and call out. Quest complete. Leave your village. To the kingdom. Your soldiers line up and follow you as you march through the halls and into the courtyard. Dude, I, I'm, I'm, I pulled the wool over all of their eyes. The sun is setting and the courtyard is beginning to warm up. You adjust your jacket and continue on. Within an hour, you have arrived at the gates of the next kingdom. 
<laughs> a large gate made of oak and steel is set to the wall. Two guards stand on the wall looking bored. One is a soldier, but the other is a boy. Perhaps, perhaps 15 summers. I'm going to start, chat, how many summers do you think I am? I'm going to start referring to people as their summer age. I like that. Being sexual, thank you for the first time sub, dude. That's just years? I know. You guys are way off. You guys are you guys are guessing like old man age. I'm not that I'm not in my golden years yet. Okay, um say I'm just gonna let it play out a little bit more. Let him take me into the castle. He has hair pulled back in a tail and wears a green and brown plaid tunic, plaid skirt, and necklaces made of shells. HALT! Explain the reason for your presence. Say, I'm a powerful wizard sent by the king to defend this place. Ha! King? You mean there's a king above this fine kingdom? The boy laughs. Look, we have no time for your pranks. My business is urgent. It's not my birthday. It's getting close to my birthday, though. Uh, what does he say? Oh, I have time. My my daddy is a scold. Don't call him daddy. When he says that we should play all day long, but uh, mainly I'm here to let you into the kingdom, the boy coughs. What does that mean? Cast fireball. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You cast fireball. You throw a ball of fire into the moat and it quickly goes out. You there! What are you doing? The soldier cries as the boy scampers away. So I am a wizard! <laughs> I pinned this! You are not a wizard! You cannot do magic. All right, let's see what happens now. <laughs> okay, that, no, we're burning him. Let me try this. Attempt to cast a magic spell. King Harabor of the Human Kingdom has sent me to help you. Hmm. Ain't seen no king in years. I suppose you know what you're doing then. What is this talking about? You fart as loud as you can. Ow! Whose fault was it that you didn't that I didn't get eaten alive, you miserable little bug eater? I didn't do anything. You let it happen. What? Ow! What are they talking about, dude? I'm just gonna let it play out until something happens. Bertrand, a voice cries, what's going on? A man comes out of the door and talks to the boy for a moment. They both look worried. The man turns to you. I'm sorry, Lord, but we're having some problems, and the boy was sent to let you in. Your kingdom is having some problems? There is some sort of dragon in the tower, and the beast has been destroying our defenses in the courtyard. How do you protect, them? How do you protect your kingdom, then? The man coughs. <laughs> Allow me to take care of the dragon. The man looks surprised. You... you can do that? 
Yes. You show your ring. The man nods. <laughs> I just have them convinced it's a magic ring. You march forward. The boy stops you. Ah, uh, Lord. What is it? You ask in an angry tone. The dragon. What about the dragon, you toad? The boy's eyes widened. The king sent for him, Lord. He's in the tower. But the king needs to be protected. The boy frowns. What is this? I'm afraid the king won't be, Lord. The king, he's dead. You stare at him in disbelief. Dead? How? I, I don't know. It all happened so fast. Did you see this? You point to the dragon on your arm. <laughs> yes, he was killed by wyverns. The dra Where did that... Is it a tattoo or is there a real dragon on my arm? I will seek revenge for the king. But, 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 Lord, I'm not stopping you, you shout and march towards the tower. The boy sprints behind you. You reach the courtyard. It's fairly large, and several buildings make up the rest of the walls. There's a statue of an old man and a large well which has been filled in with brick. Where is the dragon? Over there! Bertrand points to the highest tower. You unsheath your sword, excuse me, and make a few practice swings. You look up at the tower. Several people wince and look away. You attempt to feed the boy to the dragon to sate its hunger is that is that the right word is that the right word to sate that's right isn't it i'm not stupid you look at bertrand will you go in and feed the beast to sate its hunger you can't believe Bert you can't leave Bertrand alone with it. He'll kill him, one of the workers says. That's the point. He will be eaten alive. You sigh. Then you go in. Bertrand nods. I'll go in and get the king. Thank you, thank you, Bertrand says. The boy sprints to into the tower. What? Dude, this is just so all over the place. It's, an, it's a fever dream. You look at the wyverns and pick one to dive at. You wound it with several arrows before it can react. Then you dive at this. I'm just a farmer. <laughs> it's like it, it completely forgot all my backstory. You shoot yourself in the head. You pull out an arrow and shoot it into your head. Your eyes roll back in your head and your body collapses on the street. Your body is burned. <laughs> Let's do a new one, this one. I don't like this one. Uh, it was too hard. It, it was like pushing the narrative that I was a wizard or I was a fake wizard. I was like, I was spending more effort trying to get the story to progress how I wanted it instead of like, you know, it, it, it was hard. It was hard. Okay, let's do um, custom. Yeah, I'll try something like that, micro. Um, let's do zombies. Soldier, survivor, scientist. I want to be a survivor. Enter your character's name. Chat. Name. Make a story about yourself. Oh, you guys want to do that? You want to... You want to... Oh, my God. Let's do a custom story. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do, chat. You are a... I, uh, you are... We're going to do this streamer. You are a streamer. No, I, I don't think the computer's going to know what a streamer is. 
You are an online content creator. Named Charborg. You are live streaming on the internet to 100 people. Do a custom story where you, Walter, help solve relationship issues between Trump and Deva or whatever their names were. <laughs> that might be a good idea, Prowler. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of like how to word this. You were live streaming to, on the internet to an audience. Um uh you are sitting in the dark on your computer talking to the chat room. All right, chat, this is canon. This is completely canon. This is exactly what's happening right now. Hello, you say, I'm Charborg. The chat room is filled with people who look like they're all in their 20s or 30s. How are you tonight, chat room? Good, someone says. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Anything, really. What if I made a funny fart joke? Would you like that? The chat room fills with laughter. <laughs> yes, someone says. Yeah, do that. <laughs> you push some buttons on your computer and a new window opens up. Beep boop, beep boop. Okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to make... The best fart joke I possibly can. Are you ready, chat? Several people in the chat room begin laughing. Yes, they say. Yes, we are. Dude, I wish... Dude, this is so wholesome. I wish my chat was like this. You guys just make fun of me. <laughs> okay, you sit down in your chair and begin to type. What if I told you, you begin to, you begin, that I farted so hard last night, it woke the neighbors up. The room fills with laughter. No, you say. No, that's not what I meant at all. The room goes silent. Oh, I meant... So alone, chat room. <laughs> the room goes completely silent and then bursts into laughter again. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant either. You sigh. The stream of words comes back to you. Ah, you guys are making fun of me. Why do you constantly make fun of me? Chat room? Oh no! The chat room members say, I just made a bad joke! <laughs> Are you making fun of me now? <laughs> what do I gotta say to make you guys laugh? I'm trying my hardest here. 
You need a goddamn filter, girl. <laughs> you need a goddamn filter, girl, one of them says. I need to make a goddamn... A goddamn to stop saying fucking goddamn every fucking sentence. <laughs> what does it mean? You start angrily typing a message to the chat room. Why is why is everyone so damn hateful? You press the enter key and your message appears on the screen. Wait, that's a wrong. That's that's a wrong thing. No, I I, I tried to copy and I tried. Why is... You press the enter key and your message appears on the screen. The whole chat room stares at you with a look of disgust on their face. Is this what you want? You want me to get angry? Stop staring at me. You turn off your streaming program and put some music on. You turn off your streaming program and put on some music. You begin to gently dance in your chair to the rhythm. Users begin to enter the chat room. What's this? One of them asks. This is owning. <laughs> what do you mean? You show the user some hand gestures and get him to laugh. I'm fucking crazy. I'm insane. I'm making you laugh. Ah, that's good. You show some reactions to the screen to another. Fuck off. The whole chat room laughs at this. Omega lol. You say Omega lol. A random user types something in. What's that, you ask? I say we should change the name of the channel to Omega Blood. <laughs> Omega Blood. <laughs> Chat, should I change my name to Omega Blood? That's cool. That's really cool. You, you think I should change my name to Omega Blood? Yes. Okay then. You make the change and exit the chat room. Omega blood is... I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, I tried. What is... ...here on this program, and let me just say this. If you guys produce music and you're watching this show, uh... Okay. I just noticed that.
I am now Omega Blood. Do you think that's funny, chat room? The whole room doesn't answer you. Oh my god. Chat, do you... Do you think that's funny? Or not? You make a few more jokes and try to get a reaction. Chat, remember that fart joke earlier? <laughs> uh, you dance a little bit in your chair and try to amuse people. Nothing. Chat. Chat room. Chat room, why are you ignoring me? I'm putting my heart and soul into this. We're ignoring you because you suck. <laughs> well, I'm going to go practice music now. You turn your streaming program back on and sit in your chair. You spend hours doing this every day for the next month. You make dumb jokes, reaction faces, different versions of the same face, and angry faces. Dude, this is how this, this is how, listen, anyone asking how to start streaming, this is what you do right here. You just make dumb jokes, you make reaction faces, different versions of the same face, angry faces. You even do a few push-ups for good measure. After the month is up, they stop letting you in. <laughs> Chat, what? Is... <laughs> Can I please chat in the pl chat room, please? The stream of people entering and leaving the room slows down. One thing. Did you say you were going to practice your music? You nod eagerly. Go do that instead. <laughs> Why do you guys hate me? <laughs> Go do that instead. <laughs> what the fuck? You start sobbing silently. The entire chat room hates you. You shudder as you sob a bit. <laughs> as much as an egomaniac as you are, you would not survive without the chat room. You have no friends. You only have Omega Boom. Who is Omega Boom? Who is Omega Boom? <laughs> At least I still have you, Omega Boom. I'm right here. I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry I said those mean things. I'm sorry I won't ever be good enough for you. What is the musical piss baby? We only let funny people in here. That's why Wilbo is the headliner, not you. I sob. <laughs> Wilbo's taking over my stream. <laughs> Thank you, Sig, for the dollar. You have no friends. You have only Omega Boom. I, I have no idea. I'm Omega Boom? Is that supposed to be... Is that supposed to be Plum? Who is it? Chat, someone check if Omega Boom is an available name. <clears throat> let me just try... Let me press enter and see what they say. You exit out of the chat room and go to your desktop. You open up FL Studio and begin making a jam on the keyboard. For the next few hours, you play whatever comes to mind. Chat, I don't have FL Studio on my new computer. I can't. I would do this right now, but I can't. Now you do? What? What's like... One sec.
One sec. I'm trying to find like a free online music. Open up FL Studio and begin jamming on your keyboard for the next few hours. You play whatever comes to mind. Dude, thank you. Who is that? Widow Millie, thank you for the first time prime. What is this? What is what is this? Why, why? Okay, I'm done. I'm done doing this. I think I'm going to go see if the chat room likes me again. The chat room has slowly started to reload. Well, you're still a bunch of bigots, but that's good enough for me. <laughs> you got- Chat, what kind of community am I harboring here? Say. <laughs> uh, Can 
Can I please come back and talk in the chat room? I'll do whatever you want. Ha! If we so desired, you would not be able to sit down for the next year. <laughs> you guys are gonna beat my Bobo? What are you doing? <laughs> chat! Look! I'll dance for you. Just like you like. That's not what we want. You sigh and stop playing. Fine, I'll go torture myself with practicing, but I'm begging you. Please let me come back and talk into this chat room. Fine, only because you're pathetic and we're monsters. Go. You start crying a bit as you exit out of the chat room. As you leave, your streaming program shuts off automatically. You wipe your eyes a bit as you try to sort out your thoughts. What am I going to do now? You ask yourself. I just want my chat room to like me again. Like the good old days. The chat room is already loading as you enter it again. Get that look off your face. You hear someone say, What look is that? The one where you think you're funny. You weren't funny last time and we didn't like you then either. You start to get upset. Why is it bullying me so much? <laughs> Why is this actually depressing? Can I get an Omega lol? Please? Just like old times. Why do you want another me on screen? She, okay, we got it. No, we confused it that time. We confused it. Who was that? Logger, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. I know, it's making me sad. You start to get upset. But I was doing everything you said. You told me to stop. We told you to stop spamming the chat, not the singing. You guys want me to sing? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. No, I want to ask the question. Do you think I'm bald? Chat, this is the this is a determining factor. This is the determining factor. This is canon. I have a question. Do you think I'm bald? There's a bit of silence after your question. You begin to worry that you said something terrible. What's wrong? You whisper to yourself. Are you actually fishing for compliments? <laughs> a new voice asks. <laughs> Just answer my damn question! Do you think I'm bald? There's a bit of silence again. Well, do you? I mean, you all saw me sing and dance. Tell me the truth. You wait impatiently for the answer. I have no idea what you're asking. Do you think I look good or bad? Good enough, I suppose. You groan and lay your face on your desktop. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you torment me? Ha! You actually thought we gave a shit about you? We don't. You're nothing to us. Just food? What? Food? <laughs> You're too depressed even to respond. Chat, you're scaring me. <laughs> 
Why did you call me food, chat room? So we could talk to you. We weren't paying attention. You weren't paying attention, were you? This is the food chat room! <laughs> Can I have a treat? Sure, you want something specific? Anything. Hashtag food. There's a silence for a while. What would you do if I gave you something specific? You can give me a cookie. Do you want it to be dark or light? Oh, this is like... This is some, like... Special cookie. Like, this might be, ma be magic infused. You choose. There's a momentary silence. Fine, I'll give you a cookie. You close your eyes in thankfulness. Just one cookie, you ask, hopefully? Give it up, kid. You won't get anything from us. You sigh and accept that you'll have to wait. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Really? What's wrong, then? You explain your situation to the chat room. Several people ask questions, but you don't really answer them all. You finally catch- you finally reach someone that actually knows something about music. Where did this music arc come from? I don't- <laughs> why does it- I have a confession to make, chat room. Go ahead. I was performing for... You don't want to say it. But she knows who you're talking about anyway. What is it? <laughs> I see, she says. How do you know? Wait, what? Dude, I don't... Wait. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> There's a long silence from the other users of the room. Well, we can't determine whether you are mentally fit or not just by checking your profile, comes a response. What does that mean? Let me undo this. <sighs> I'm actually a 30 year old fan. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> What do you think I look like? There's a split second of silence. Well, you don't actually look bad. You're a little em emaciated, but nothing terrible. What does that mean? Musicians are probably all starving themselves to get the right look. Momentary silence, two dots. <laughs> Underweight. Are you mad that I lied about my age, chat room? Eh. I'd be more mad if you told the truth. That makes you burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're making jokes now. Sorry, but your statement was just too funny. 
You're actually a little shocked that people are finding your story so funny. Well, your situation isn't exactly funny. Well, I'm, they're laughing at me. You guys are laughing at me again. You tell a joke to win the chat room's heart. Did you hear about the midget that had its head chopped off? There is laughter in the room. I'm not joking. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> There's a silence on the other end of the line. Sorry, it's just really hard to take you seriously when you call me that. You sigh heavily. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> you put on a funny video game to live stream to the chat room. Is it ready yet? You repeatedly ask your dad. I can't wait to get started, you say. Sorry, son, you know the rules. What? Where did this come from? Your dad replies, I'm also getting really tired then. It's not funny when I have to get, beg my friends at Nintendo for free games, let alone children. My dad let, my dad works at Nintendo. <laughs> oh my god. You hang up on your dad and put on your biggest fake grin. I guess I'll start streaming. There's a lot of commotion and shouting in the room. Is that PID? Someone asks. Is it live yet? What, did they, did they just same my, decide my name was PID? Is that my name? Oh, is that the game? I don't know. Nope, it's just you. Should we, be, should we be worried, someone asks? Or should we start fearing the worst? And it's a little early to worry, but you can't help it. What is, I don't know what they're talking about. You sit on your dad's bed, and he sits on his chair. It's been years since you've used his desktop PC, so this is all new to you. You start unboxing your brand new console. What, where did this come? Okay, I'm, I'm undoing this dad stuff, I think. This is, I want it to be you and me in, in check. <laughs> You picked out your favorite funny game and put it in your computer. Put it in your computer? What is this, fucking 2000? <laughs> hey game, let's play laugh aloud. What's the first thing I should say, you sing song? You suck! <laughs> <laughs> the game... Did the game just tell me I suck? <laughs> Why is it... Dude, I, literally, I'm trying... To just like move on, but the the chat and, and like everything is bullying me. I don't I don't Why is everyone being so mean? I miss chatting with people. Then why did you come online? You quickly type something before the stream starts. I'm going to start the stream. I'm going to start the live stream. And I want everyone to be nice, please. No more being mean, or I'm going to ban you. Sure, kid. <laughs> sure, kid. That's so toxic, dude. You hit the start button and start the stream. Now comes the hard part. You just hit, you just sit there and hope that someone, anyone, starts chatting with you. The first few minutes are excruciating. 
dude this is this is like i'm like on the edge of my seat i'm scared You start making jokes and waiting for someone to say something in the chat room. You start making a joke out of everything you do. Hey, is there a doctor in the house? Because my computer is slow. <laughs> I'm a billionaire and know how to party. <laughs> what is that? How come every time I talk to a pretty girl, she only wants to be friends? <laughs> After a few minutes of this, you finally get a response. I like your sense of humor. <gasps> you excitedly talk to the new member of chat. You excitedly tell your friend that you have a new online friend. Excellent. Now we can... Okay, this is... No, no. I, I want to continue this storyline. <laughs> it was that. Fambini, thank you for the first time sub, dude. I like your sense of humor. You finally get a response. I like your sense... Let me just play it out and see what happens. You sigh with a relief. <sighs> you immediately start talking with the user. Thanks, you too, you said. What's your name? Parker. Hello, Parker. Hello, Parker. Thank you for checking out my live stream, Smile. Thanks for letting me join your live stream. I'm honored. Thank you. I'm glad you like my jokes. Why are you so happy all the time? <laughs> You laugh at his question. <laughs> uh. Is there something wrong, Parker? I just activated the chat feature and you're the first person I talked to. You laugh at this comment. Well, I'm sorry I didn't crack jokes at your expense. Why are you so happy all the time? Parker. Will you follow me? Will you? I'm trying to... I, I don't want them to think that it's like follow me as in go somewhere. Parker, will you... Parker, will you subscribe to my channel? Will you go to the dance with me? <laughs> you can't... <laughs> it, it, it called it! You can't contain your laughter. Haha, <laughs> no. Why not? I don't- I don't go to dances. What? Why not? Parker. Parker, I don't know you in real life. You're just an online friend. So? I don't go to dances. Why? I don't like crowds and loud noises. That's no reason. People like music. And you do too. Parker's freaking me out. Yep. You ban Parker from your chat room. You sigh heavily at this request. Fine, you're banned from my chat room. Parker is angry and he starts saying things such as stupid and crazy. You kick Parker out of the chat room. At this point, you feel like you're running the asylum. Parker <laughs> continues to be abusive, and after banning him for the upteenth time, you finally decide to ban him from your channel entirely. You don't think you'll ever be able to look at him again without wanting to throttle him. <laughs> Mm. 
You continue streaming and wait for a new viewer to show up in the chat room. You continue to play your game and after about an hour, there's a moment of silence. Hello, whoever is watching this. Thank you for finding my stream. You start streaming once again. Why are you so mean to Parker? You hear a random voice shout from the chat roughly 15 minutes later. No! I'm not. I was just banning him from the chat for being abusive, you respond. No. Why were you kicking him out of the chat room? This time the voice is multiple people. I was banning him for talking too much. Parker was being abusive in my chat room. <laughs> Multiple people start shouting at you once as... At once, you can barely hear what anyone is saying. Why are you banning him for being loud? He was talking too much. Parker was talking too much. What about kicking him? He was being abusive. He was being loud. Oh my god. You reluctantly unban Parker from your chat room. Excited voices immediately shout at you as the room gets very loud and crowded really fast. Yay! You're the best ever! <laughs> and then Parker. Thanks, man. I'm not that bad. <laughs> Poor Parker's back. Oh my god, dude. This is fucking weird. You continue live streaming for the chat room. Your stream continues with its laid back nature. You never know who might be in the chat. So you just continue to entertain them as best as you can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. You say as your stream finally goes into the off mode. As you exit the game, you get a notification. check to see what the notification is you check your notification bar and you see a new message from Parker with a smiley face you open the stream you open the message to reveal a link to a new stream that started five minutes ago chat this is like fucking creepy <laughs> You, oh, you click the link to open the stream that Parker sent. <laughs> you open the link in a new window and find yourself watching a man play League of Legends. To your surprise, this stream is completely different from your own. For one thing, the streamer is a girl. <laughs> Whoa. 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 You start typing in the streamer's chat room. You type in the words, Lorena plays League of Legends, and hits enter. The bar has been set high, wow. Lorena is the bestest ever. This girl is amazing. I don't... Oh, that's, that's supposed to be the chat room? You donate. Donate one hundred dollars to the streamer in hopes of getting her attention. The streamer receives your message and looks over at you. Hello, she says. Hi, my name is Parker, and I just wanted to say that your stream is amazing. Do you do anything else? I'm taking Parker's name, dude. Yes. What would you like to know? She responds. Just ask. I don't know. I don't know anything about League of Legends, and I'm just a huge fan. 
Wait, I was Parker? What does this mean? Well, I've been told that I'm quite good looking and should model instead, she says. You are very good looking. You're very sweet, she says, hitting you with her LP. What is her LP? I should take that as a yes, you say with a smile. So where does one send donations? <laughs> Just click the link on my profile and it will take you to the donations page. There are instructions there. I see. Anything else? Yeah, this is tons of fun. Thank you. You were too kind. I hope to see you soon. The stream stops and you browse a few other streams before falling asleep. That night, you dream about the streamer. You're sitting in a room with the... You're... Okay, I don't... That, that could get weird. I don't want to do that. That night, you dream about the streamer. You go to sleep and get ready to stream tomorrow. You wake up at noon, <laughs> quickly check your messages and head to your stream. It's weird, but you don't feel the usual nerves that you felt when you were a normal human. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's weird, but you don't feel the usual nerves that you felt when you- Dude, it's like that guy who fucking- Like, what, who was that streamer on that, like, that conference or something who was like, I don't think of- I don't think of myself as a normal person. I'm better than people. What was the guy? Because he, he streamed like a hundred people or something. <laughs> That's me, dude. You start the stream. You begin your stream with the same laid-back attitude you had yesterday, but in a few hours you have more viewers than ever before. You get messages from people all over the world nearly instantly. I'm famous. I'm famous. Start rating the AI so it can get better? How do I do that? Want to, thank hey, you. Parker, big fan. What would happen? You receive a donation from someone named Watu 420. Watu. Hello, if I recall your stream correctly, you are 12 years old. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're pretty big into this game, aren't you? Watu says, I love this game. It's a nice break from the usual MAU combat that I usually like to play. What is that? Well, thanks for watching. You were too kind. I hope to watch you stream more in the future. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What else? See you later, Sausage Mass. Um... What's up, Shane? I'm streaming me streaming, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, okay. You... Ask... The chat room... What... What... Emote... 
they want next. You ask chat room what emote they want you to make next. Sigh. No more MAU porn, please. <laughs> I, 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 listen, I don't have any emotes like that. I wanna I wanna make that clear. I don't have any emotes like that. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that, you smile. All right, then, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I mean, I just made this account to talk to people while I was streaming. I've never made an avatar before, either. You should make a cute one that represents you. Oops. What? Huh! Ah! Huh! Ah! I think I will make a cute avatar. Alright, here's a free head start on the programming. Just use these doors for shortcuts. Cute name, huh? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back twice. And I'm gonna say... You make an avatar for your stream. Good little man, thank you for the first time sub. Appreciate it, dude. You make an avatar for your stream. This is a first for you. You decide to make something that you can't go wrong with. You choose the most generic you could find that wasn't too bad looking, and you name it Steely. <laughs> what? You customize your avatar named Steely to make it look just like you. The reactions of the chat are mixed, but many of your fans were happy with what you made. And then I say, I'm not done yet, guys. I'm going to make an even cooler one for you guys. Hang in there, Steely. Here's a picture of myself, taken by the most famous streamer on the planet. You pose with your brand new avatar. Maticus! Someone said, and from Matt, same name, Maticus. Huh! I'd love to meet the guy that took that picture. He's not a guy. He's a girl. Even better. <laughs> Maticus says, yikes! <laughs> Do you plan to have her on here often? I say possibly. I'm still fairly new, so I don't have many other people to talk to about the game yet. <laughs> What's the game you say? Manicus says, The guy that took the pick and said his name was Travis, and he mostly does MAU. I don't know, Travis. Is this, oh, this is what you're talking about. Maticus, massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Never heard of it. I don't know how to, I don't know how to get it to talk like this. Like, look, see what it says U colon and then blank? How do I respond like that? Okay, so wait. Travis mostly does MAU games. What's MAU again? Massively multiplayer online role playing game. Ma <laughs> Most people haven't. It's pretty new. But I stream games that are hundreds, if not thousands, of years old. <laughs> what am I streaming? I'm streaming like. Fucking jousting? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm like streaming like a hoop stick or something. <laughs> Let me try this.
I don't I don't think this will work. I'm just gonna check. It does work, Medicus. Yes, you um okay, you sigh. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I don't know if I should do it. Dude, this is weird. A user by the name of GK comes back. GK says, not that I'm aware of, but I do play a lot of horror games. Perfect, I'll stream horror games then. Dude, this is, this is honestly really weird. It's like freaking me out, kinda. Yeah, it's like an actual chat room, sort of, it's fucking... <laughs> Wait. Does anyone in the chat room have any horror game suggestions? I do, actually. I was talking about playing before you came along. If you're looking for suggestions, I suggest Dead Realm. It's a really scary game. Thanks, GK. I think I'll stream Dead Realm right now. Quickly start streaming Dead Rome and begin your stream. Your stream is going fairly well, all things considered. Wait, that's an actual game? Dead Rome is a real game? It is! You're in a new world. You're scared shitless and you're trying to survive. However, unfortunately for you, there's already been one streamer who has done this game before. His name is Requiem and he has quite the following. It isn't even your followers either, it's his. He has over 50,000 followers while you have 4,000. It isn't even counting that he has a budget studio and you're just doing this all from your home. While you're desperately trying to boost your viewers, Requiem is taking the exact opposite approach. Requiem is in my chat! No, Requiem is- Hello and thank you for visiting my stream. I'm sure you're all wondering why I chose to stream Dead Realm rather than some other games that I could have chosen. Why did you want to stream Dead Realm? Because it's the best way I know to promote it. Why else would I? People are already talking about Dead Realm, and that's simply because you're streaming it. <laughs> Only one person can stream a game. <laughs> Hashtag hat. I don't think this game is very scary, Requiem. Can you suggest something more terrifying? Why not Brood... Broodime? That game is supposed to be scary. Requiem says, I've already suggested Dead Realm. It's much easier to stream as well and gets more people. Is Broodime a game chat? Rudime is not a real game. Dude, Ross, thank you for five gifted subs. Thank you a lot, dude. Very sweet.
What approach should we take this chat? We could do something like, uh, I want, I want to like create a very scary. I'm going to try playing Brewdime. I hear it's the scariest game on the planet. As you change games, people are still talking about your choice to stream Dead Realm. Requiem. This is like when I joined forces with that guy who did Cataclysm. Only on a smaller scale, I suppose. <laughs> the difference being, while your followers... While your follower is scared out of his mind, he has at least a little positive energy to boost his own spirits. I say, I think I'll try Outwood Publishers next. Is that a game? You start streaming the game called Brewdime. As soon as you start streaming, the chat room begins to flood. Let's play Brewdime! Dude, that's how I want streams to go, baby. I want to boot this shit up and say, Chat, today we're playing this. And you guys are, Yeah! Let's pray, let's play this! I say, all right. <laughs> I'm going to boot the game now. But just so you know, this is a very scary game. I don't think I've ever played a game that's been as scary as this one. So if anyone is scared, it's probably blessed. It's probably best you not watch this stream right now. Oh, and this game also has no combat, so you can watch too if you want. You quickly start the game and it begins. However, in the meantime, you're still trying to find a happy medium between streaming and not getting murdered by the creatures that lurk in the darkness. It's a struggle, but you eventually what? Huh? What? Is this talking about the game? Is this in the game, or is there something behind me? Uh, After several minutes, you start to hear screams from the computer as if the person is getting eaten. Nobody screams, let's play br Blood at Brewtime. <laughs> Chat, shut up real quick. I started the game and it's so scary, nobody's saying anything anymore. They're like... Ooh. And then I say, this game is pretty scary. Someone once said that the game is haunted. If you play it, a ghost will haunt you. That can't be true, right? There's no such thing as ghosts. It takes a few minutes, but eventually people start trickling in. Most of them are scared straight, but some of them watch anyway. After a few minutes, you actually manage to finish the game. Normally this would mean that you get the achievement. Of beating the game. And get to save the girl. However, when you try to press the A button to accept this, nothing happens. I say, I hope that doesn't count as me getting the achievement. Click the story button to switch between dialogue and exposition. I'm trying I'm trying to set it up for 
That's so weird. That's so weird, my game is glitching out. What if it's haunted? I'm not playing anymore. I think I'll go on to another game. You quickly try to find a new game to play, but nothing is working. Something is wrong with my computer. Chat room, can you hear me? No one replies. You're actually alone except for the horrible laughter that now comes from your computer. Oh my god. Did the game curse me? Chat room, talk to me! Someone, my computer is haunted! The laughter continues. Help! Oh my god, I'm going to die! The computer shuts itself off and begins to beep. You sit in complete darkness and listen to the computer beeping. Worried from what might happen next. You sit in front of your computer. You hear the sound of the PC booting up. After a while of hearing this, you see the desktop of your laptop. You notice something is strange about your computer. You notice that your webcam displayed a picture of a man, and it's pointed directly at you. Now it's just a black screen with a flashing red light. <laughs> this is actually freaky, dude. <laughs> this is actually kind of freaky. I think what makes it creepy is that it kind of doesn't make sense. It's like, it's like just odd enough to where you're like having to fucking fill in the blanks in your head. You reach to shut it off, but find that it won't turn on. Damn it. You begin to hear beeping and feel the game inside of you get scared again. What? <laughs> you hear a voice coming from your webcam. And you jump up in shock. Ah! The man, or whatever is behind the webcam, begins to speak. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so scary! Question mark, question mark, question mark says nothing. I say, who are you? You hear a laughing coming from the webcam. Question mark, question mark, question mark says nothing. Tell me who you are. Another laugh. I'm your ghost and I haven't died. I don't know what that exactly means. Why do you not have a username? Fish Lord Man, thank you for the resub, dude. That's scary, dude. I don't have a username? Yes, please call me. Give me something to identify you. Okay. What is he doing? Have you cursed my computer? What's happening? What is this man doing? I'm sorry, I have no idea what's happening right now. In fact, I'm not even sure this is real. He says, 
Do you feel sick? I feel like I'm in a nightmare. So do I. You don't understand. Please try to wake up. I can't. I feel like this is a nightmare. I don't want this to end. No, chat. I don't want to try to wake up because I don't want this to end. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. Why is your username he? It's he because that is my name. Oh, okay. I feel like this is all a dream. But this is real. You a demon? I'm a spirit. A ghost. But aren't demons known to torment the living? I just want to talk to you. What do you want from me, spirit? Nothing. I'm just looking for someone to talk to. But my friend said that ghosts are evil and will torment you. They also said I shouldn't play this game at night. Do you ever do things you want to do? What do you mean? Take you, for example. You want to play games all day, but you have to work during the day. Does that sound like a good idea? No. Dude, this is weird! <laughs> Yet you still play them. Because I want to. Here's another example. Do you want to go see your friends, but you're afraid? I'm afraid. Yet you still want to go. I say, I want to go meet my friends. He says, why do you want to do that so much? Humans crave. Uh, what, how would I word this? Social interaction, yeah. Humans crave social interaction. You should know this, he. Were you once a human? Yes, I was. Then why do you want to talk to me so badly? I want to talk to you because I find you interesting. Well, what do you want to talk about? Tell me about when you were human. He says, You're very good at the games. Are you a professional? I say, No, just a gamer. <laughs> he says, Oh, sorry to offend. <laughs> Wait, so could I do. Could I do. Could I say something in place of him? I've been watching you for a long time. Really? Yes, from the moment you started playing this game. I say, what's your name? He says, my name is Sebus. Dude, that is fucking creepy. I, that seems like a demon name.
Are you evil, Sebus? I don't think so, he says, but it all depends on what you do during our talks. <gasps> I say, how do you know if I was a gamer before this? <laughs> Dude, what a fucking... Uh, I, Seba says, I know because I've been watching you. I say, how do you know I wanted to go meet my friends? Seba says, I know what you think about most things. What am I thinking right now, Sebus? You're thinking if I'm telling the truth or not. And do I have any reason to believe you? Yes. Tell me everything. <laughs> he just sigh. <laughs> like he's like he's a uh... <laughs> like he's doing some shit like this. Okay, my name is Sebus. And I was a human once. Go on. I was a minor, like your father, I'm guessing. I had a family, a wife and two children. And what happened? Well, one day, an order was given to transport an important cargo to another place. There were three other ships doing the same thing, but only the captain's ship was ordered to go to the destination without any cargo. What was so important? The Emperor. <laughs> what is this? The Emperor? Yes. You know of him? My father once told me about him, an amazing being, but my father was never in contact with him. So I don't know much. Sebus, how did you die and become a spirit? I was killed during the transport of the Emperor. There were four guards on board, and we all had to board the ship. The other ships were already far away by that time. Why weren't you transported to another place? Because the Emperor was in my arms. Sebus, why does your spirit still linger? I want my family to find my body so they can mourn. Why didn't your body go with the other four guards? This is fucking creepy, dude. Because I was carrying the Emperor and I had to ensure his safety. How did you die? An assassin's blade. Can I help your fi family find your body? I don't know. I suppose so. Okay, I'll do that for you. So what do I do next? Why did you want to meet me? Because your story was very sad and I wanted to help your family. I appreciate it. Dude, this is honestly fucking weird. And some of that, how do I, how do I pin? How, how does this work exactly? Oh. 
I, I don't understand how to like pin stuff where it's gonna remember. You enter statements to the pin. Okay. So tell me if this would make sense. How do you spell possessed? Is that it? A spirit possessed your computer. Was that Bussy Cape? Thank you for the first time, Prime, dude. I appreciate it. So, would this be an appropriate thing to say? A spirit named Sebes possessed your computer. Okay, so then, uh, Sebes was killed. Sebes was killed by while transporting the Emperor. Sebes's family. Yeah. Sebus was assassinated while transporting the Emperor. So, let's see, what else? Um, who is the Emperor? I'll ask who the Emperor is in a bit. Why is he Emperor? <laughs> okay, um, let me think. Sebus was assassinated while transporting the Emperor. Um, Sebus wa wants family to find his body so his spirit can pass on. So you think that sounds good? Yeah, this is a streamer playthrough, Hoptai. Like, I downloaded this haunted game and it fucking... Was a ghost, like... The Emperor by that bald bitch Horus. <laughs> Thank you, Volcake, for the 100 bits. Horus. There, I think I think that sounds good. <laughs> you are a gamer. <laughs> there, you are a gamer and live streamer. Story, you. <laughs> 30 years old. <laughs> How can I find your family, Sebus? They're in the city of Jekol on Desk C. Or Deck C. Oh my god, that's fucking. This is creepy. Dude, this is fucking creepy. They're in the city of Jakol on deck three. Or deck C. Okay, what is the last thing you remember? The Emperor and I were transported onto the ship. Where is your body? Said this. It was transported to the other ship with the Emperors. 
there were three guards, so the Emperor's body was not transported on the other ship? I don't understand where this body is. Where's this body? No, why not? It was abandoned as dead. What? Jakol is an island. It wasn't that hard to find a place to land it. Why wasn't I taken to the Emperor too? If he trans- if- okay, no, it's like- it's fucking- it's fucking up. Right, I'm gonna ask. Is your body in- Oh yeah, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sebas's family lives in Jakol. Sebas's family lives on the island of Jakol on Dex C. Is your body in Jakol? I don't know. Okay, I'll have to search for it. Do you remember the location of the other three ships? No. Where are the other three ships? One of them was destroyed during transport, one sank into the sea, and the last one I saw sink. Did all of the crew on board those four ships die? Yes, except the captain of the ship we were on. Captain? Yes, he was also killed, but I don't know. <laughs> I will go look for your body now, Sebast. Good luck. You find a door in the room try and open it. To your right is a large elevator that takes you down a floor. I don't know how this is going to work. You exit the lobby of the Akara complex and start heading towards the remains of the sh transport. I don't know how this is going to work. Well, I don't I don't need to go to Jakal just yet. Should I find the body or should I find Okay. Okay. And board a ship to Jakal. I'll try that. You pass the island of Samana on your right and arrive in Jakal. There's a huge luxury hotel on the left with a large sign that displays the name of the hotel. Try to find the location of Deck C. You enter the hotel to try to find the information of Deck C. You ask the hotel employee behind the front desk, but he doesn't know. He asks you to wait a moment and disappears into the back room. A few minutes later, he returns with a map. You study the map. It shows the hotel and several other structures on the island. It doesn't show decks or sections of the ship. It doesn't show the Emperor's room or the catacombs. Dude, how am I supposed to find deck C? Where is deck C located? 
Told a tall employee points to a red spot on the map. There, he says. Dexy is located right there. It should be somewhere on that floor. Thank you. You turn to leave, but the hotel employee stops you. Wait a minute, he says. You didn't answer me. Why are you here? You think for a moment. I'm here to find the family of a man named Sebas. Oh, that Sebas, he says. I think I saw his dead body in the hall. Poor guy! <laughs> Why do you say that? Hotel employee says nothing. Why is Sabas dead in the hall? How do you know his name? Who are you? How do you know about Sabas? Answer me, damn it! Fine. I'm a poor fisherman from the island of Samana. I used to do a lot of business with Sabas, and it saddened me to hear that he was killed. Okay, it's, no, it's, we're reverting that. We don't know that information. <laughs> Hotel employee says nothing. Did you kill Sabas? Why did you kill him? What's your name? Do you like working here? <laughs> What is the name of this island? Is there an airport on this island? Where is the closest hospital to this hotel? <laughs> I'm like practicing a different language. Donde esta la biblioteca? Is there cable TV in this room? Do you have a mini bar? Do you have a kitchen in this room? <laughs> Do you have a safe in this room? Is there any food in this room? What time is it? Hotel employee says nothing. What's the local local time? Is it day or night where you are? What's the weather like? How is the reception here? What is the currency exchange rate? <laughs> is it safe to travel here? Well, I pass the date here. Hotel employee says nothing. How is the traffic on the roads? Is it driver reliable? Is the driver reliable? What is the state of emergency? What is the state of economy? How much will it cost to hire a taxi driver? How much will it cost to hire a boat? How much will it cost to stay the night here? <laughs> How much will it cost to hire a plane to fly me around the island? What is the cost of a room for one night? <laughs> is there any activities I can do? Where is the best place I can go drinking? Where is the best place to gamble? What is the most popular nightclub here? <laughs> Where can I buy marijuana? <laughs> Where is the easiest place to get a gun? What is the easiest place to get some drugs? <laughs> What's the safest way to get some drugs? Where's the best place to get a prostitute? Where can I find a coach to travel around the island? <laughs> What's the most famous site on the island? Is there a beach here? Is there a downtown area? Where can I find some history? <laughs> Where can I find some nature? How can I get in touch with the British consulate? <laughs> Is there a railroad on the island? Where can I find a smart drug dealer? Where can I find a hospital? Where can I find a casino? What is the best nightclub on the city? <laughs> the Empire Hotel. It's like a palace, but the rooms aren't as nice as ours. So don't pay for one if they are important to you. Can you tell me how I got here? <laughs> of course, but you might not like the answer. Sebast brought you here after he killed you? I'm dead? 
Yeah, you're fucking dead, man. Why didn't I die when Sabas stabbed me? You were body jacked, dipshit. Okay, ignore the stabbing part. This is just... This is not canon. You just sort of have to go along with... I gotta roll with the punches. What do you mean, body jacked? You're a shell now. Sebast put an enchantment on you so that he could control you. Why would he do that? I'm dead? Did Sabas kill me when he possessed my computer? You were body jacked, dipshit. <laughs> Thank you, Prowler, for the hundred bits. Dude, body jacked is fucking cool. That's a cool phrase. Thank you, Prowler. I'm gonna um I'm gonna delete you said. Should we go with this one? Like, what? I said, did Sabas kill me when he possessed my computer? He tried to, but I killed him. You murdered Sabas? Yeah, I murdered Sabas. Chat, Sabas didn't die while transporting the Emperor. He lied to us. I don't un Go back to before the tangent of questions. The AI fell off the racks tracks. Yeah, it seems like it, but at the same time, I feel like getting a coherent story in, in its entirety out of this is going to be very hard. You know what I mean? One sec, I gotta go, I gotta go get a... I gotta go get a band-aid. I bit the skin on the, th the side of my thumb and it, it's blooding. I'll be right back. Hey. I'm back. Can you make this game multiplayer so we can join in on this epic tale of Sebas the Ghost? Um, what? You can do multiplayer? Dungeon? I think we should go back to the first hotel employee part. Okay, so you're saying you guys want to go back to, um...
So you guys want to go back to here? You say I'm here to see the family of a man named Sabas? On duty here. <laughs> I'm here to find the family of a man named Sabas. So we're gonna have to. We can't leave it entirely up to the AI. We have to sort of like guide it in the direction we want to go. So, um. Let's see. What, what, what should we do then? I'm here to find the family of a man named Sabas, and then hotel employee will say, um, what should he respond? Yeah, we can just leave. Let's just see what they come up with. Ah, says the hotel employee, I see. Well, it's not easy to find, but if you want to try, I can give you a general location. How did you find this out? I just need to get to deck C. I'll be on my way. Okay, the hotel employee answers. It's just down the hall and to the left. The first door on your right. Okay, that's not... We don't, we don't need that. Good luck. Okay, so you take the map from him and leave the hotel. There are several streets to choose from and you ask for directions to the closest place to the red dot. Eventually you reach a large building. Huh. This must be the building. This must be the building that Deck C is in. The building is covered in graffiti. There are many people loitering around the entrance. One man wearing a red cap and a long green cloak approaches you. You want something? Is he asking me that? What do you have? Whatever you want, he says. His eyes half-lidded. I want weed. <laughs> we have that, he says. How much were you willing to pay? I don't know. <laughs> Forty bucks? <laughs> Sold, he says. I'm giving a lot of the devil. His name is Hans. He lives upstairs. I've given a lot to the devil. His name is Hans, he lives upstairs. Wait, what? Who is Hans? Everyone knows him, don't worry about him, he's cool. You pay Hans the money and receive a small bag of weed. Thanks, you say. No problem, says Hans. I'm looking for a family of a man named Sabas. He used to live here. Hans looks at you for a moment, frowning. I saw a tall man with a dark skin and black hair, he says. I saw him leave with a woman. Oh, him. Yeah, he says. I didn't like him. He was creepy. You nod and walk away. You start asking around if anyone has, uh, let's see, you start asking around if anyone knows a man named Sebast.
Several citizens glance at you but say nothing. Still, you are able to learn that the woman Hans described as tall, dark-skinned woman was in fact the pirate captain Helena. Who is Helena? Several citizens look at you but say nothing. Who is Helena? You ask again in a harsher tone. Nobody responds. Who is Helena? Does anyone know Sabas? He was a sailor who loved that drink, says an old man. What more do you know of him? Does he have family here? He has no known family, but you can find out more at the inn. You might want to go there now. He is dead and she might be gone. That person knows Sebast? The person knows Sebast that got kidnapped? You start searching for the pirate known as Helena. Okay, so I pin um a pirate named Helena. Pirate named Helena was kidnapped and might know Sebast. <laughs> you start searching for the pirate known as Helena, but you have no luck. You doubt that you'll be able to find her. On the other side of town, you find the purple shamrock, which, according to the map, is a few minutes away. What do, what do I want to go to the purple shamrock? A bar perhaps yeah you you head towards the purple shamrock you arrive just in time to see two barmaids throw a man out of the bar getting out of the carriage you approach the bar Does anyone here know of a pirate captain named Helena? The barmaid closest to the street glares at you. The one at the bar speaks. <laughs> one moment, she says. I'll have to find out. I'm afraid it's going to have to wait, though. We're closing soon. I have to wait until tomorrow? <laughs> closing soon? Is it open all night? The barmaid sighs and turns towards you. Sorry, she says. We close at dawn, and it's nearly then. You chafe your teeth at the barmaid for a moment before turning and walking back to the carriage. Chat, how do we find Helena? I don't understand. <laughs> We're gonna be just going from place to place, and people are gonna go, ah, sorry. You gotta get threatening. Let me just do this. Maybe do something vague. You search. Power game, I find them. Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> Uh. 
You keep searching for the pirate captain named Helena. After an hour of searching, you give up and get back to the carriage. You return to the hotel and go straight to your room. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Like, the AI doesn't know what to do sometimes. You get, decide to get to sleep. Despite your exhaustion, you know that you won't be able to get any before meeting with the Emperor tomorrow. <laughs> the next day, you enter the Emperor's chambers. <laughs> yeah um that's how it that's how it normally goes chat like every time i've played this in the past it uh it's very hard to keep a consistent story going you just sort of have to like you know be okay with it going off the uh off the rails and i unfortunately think that we're not going to be able to solve the sabas murder like, that was really cool and really creepy, but I, I really doubt that we're going to be able to get a coherent story out of it. Which is very sad, but... Yeah, the continuity is what... It, it just... Like, certain things are forgotten and slight changes happen that cause other things to happen. But yeah, dude, it was it was going fucking crazy for a little bit. That was really cool for a little bit. <laughs> Someone said check check uh Someone said check uh, Steam comments. <laughs> let me look at, let me show you guys this. One sec. That's so fucking. <gasps> Sebas? It's he. Dude, that was a really cool, like, start of an arc, though, wasn't it? Really cool. That was a lot of fun. I think that's all I'm going to do tonight. My brain's kind of razzle-dazzled from reading so much. But yeah, there was a lot of really cool, like... Like, core... Um... You know, like, storytelling shit. It was really...